let's say you were two years into your relationship and you had to assemble your own flowers. I don't know. I'm just not that kind that of person. Alex is happy she gets a gift at all. Answer. Yeah, I am That's not a possible per- question. To, I don't know it's, why. I yes, asked I'm it. like I'm like you can't ask me that because I I generally don't like receiving. I like giving. Are there? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Ray. <laughs> 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 oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Million dollars, but when you climax. Oh god. Oh. I can't believe we're taking it to this level. You barf in your mouth. Yeah, I probably would. <laughs> I probably would. All right, would. ladies, ladies, uh, be warned. Mm. <laughs> Brett may puke on you. He's not getting this offer right now. This is a scenario. No, this this is based on things that will never happen, right? All or, right, let's let's okay. do it right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> Go ahead. Let's, let's let's do it right so now. Alex and I watched Black Mirror. Mm-hmm. Uh, it we came binged out, it. Came you out don't last binge week. it. Do you not consider three hours binging? No. I said on the precast, I'm saying it now, to be binge worthy, I think has to be at least five. Binging is not about length of time, I think. It's about number of individual things. I think it's about a season. How many episodes is binge watching? Well, according to we just asked them. According to Google? A survey conducted by Netflix in February 2014. They need That's to redo five this. five years ago. They need to redo yeah. this. Before nope. binging really this took is, off. Yeah. Uh, it says 73% of people define binge watching as watching between two to six episodes. Two? 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 No. No. I, no. Okay. I think. <laughs> this just rendered itself irrelevant. It did. That was a very dumb. Throw your phone. <laughs> Throw your phone. <laughs> I just got a Charlie horse in my thigh. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I you okay? You're going to fart or something. Do you, do you need something? Hey, where's your Charlie just horse? Just give me time. It's on the bottom of this thigh. Hey, you can do this. Put, put your foot out. Put your I foot can't. Out. Do it. No. Put your oh, foot. shoot. Ah. Put it out and flex your foot up like your toes towards the ceiling. <laughs> it looks like you're trying to take a shit. What right? do you need to do? Well, I don't want it to look like what that. What do you want to do? I'm trying to put my foot over there. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> My back's to the camera. No, you're fine. You're fine. You're okay. It's you're ridiculous. Okay. You're okay. You're, Let's you're, do some you're trivia. doing some freaking Christmas <laughs> trivia. <laughs>
the way that we have the table and stuff. Right, it's we've like, moved the table moved. a little bit. Because I really the, like what you did with the floor, though. Like yeah. on YouTube, it looks like like they like it's like there's a, a glass of, floor. There's a lot of uh, it's like a dance floor. A lot of back glare. Here. Yeah, but the glare I works. Like it. Um. So yeah. Oh, I better get my podcast notes up actually to get the show started. Duh. <laughs> Oh, well, actually, what we should do is uh, get Brett's voicemail up because he's actually on the road today. And, is he on his way back yet? Uh, yeah, he actually should be back soon. I think it's what he talks about in his voicemail, actually. So um, we're gonna talk. Uh, we're gonna have Brett's voicemail up first, and then we got a couple of other voicemails that have been sent in throughout the week. So we're gonna be playing them throughout the show. There's a couple of voicemails here and there that deal with one thing or another. Um, but uh, if you want to call into our uh, podcast voicemail, it is 224-225-5780. And that is our uh, podcast voicemail. Do hey be Josh, sure to call us. Did What's you up? know that our phone number is right there? What? It's in the upper right corner. No, I did not, actually. <laughs> I got right. it right here in my notes anyway. So <laughs> Call yeah. PT0. Um, if you want to get the headphones on there, Quentin, you can hear uh, Brett's voicemail and uh, when we actually I'm pop so up on the audio to stuff. Hear his voice. <laughs> we haven't heard his voice in a couple of weeks know, already, it's, so it's going to be really I weird hearing miss him again. Him a little bit. Yeah, it's going to be odd. It's going to be nice, though. Uh, we'll actually probably be on Monday a little bit later due to uh, him being um, here. Uh, he'll be arriving, actually. Yeah, we'll just make it a little bit of a later so, podcast. Yep, later podcast on Monday. But uh, here I'll be playing uh, Brett's thing, uh, Brett's voicemail, and then uh, we're going to be do- going through other uh, other things throughout the show. Hold on. Hey guys, it's Brett. I um, I'm on the road, of course. Um, started the morning in South Carolina, did one job down there, and uh, then got told we we're going to Florida. So I'm in uh, Ocala, Florida, and tomorrow we're gonna head for Miami, which is interesting because I've never been to Miami. So um, things are going well. I'm learning the job, having a good time, and. Got one more week here, and then I'm headed back home on on next Monday. So I'll see you guys soon. Have a good show. I'll be in the comments. Bye bye. I'm like totes jelly. <laughs> oh, I'm just You're so jelly. there's like one place in Florida. Well, then we're going to Miami. Well, then we're gonna, like it's just like shut, Brett. Just I'm so jealous. Yeah, right. So Brett is in. He's gonna hate it when he gets back. He's uh, I don't know. I think he's homesick already. He sounds a little like oh, he sounds kinda... tired. <laughs> <laughs> he's blaming he all this. He does all this driving. Yes, he does. He it's does. not just like oh, well, I could say like even if you got on a flight, it would still be tiring. Right, just right. the jet lag. So, um, yeah, there are thirty-eight days left in the year, guys. Don't. I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> or yeah. Do <laughs> get rid of it. Get Throw, rid of this I don't. Year. I honestly, I, I'm not really sure which year was worse, last year or this year. I think this year has been pretty. Like bad I think, us. I think 2020, everyone was kind of like going insane, but was still like mentally there somewhat. I and think, now I feel like everyone's just pissed off all the time. Well, I think yeah. in 2020, like everyone was so reserved, kept in their house that you just didn't hear about it. And now in 2021, and now you hear about everyone it. talks about it. Right. Yeah. It's just everything is just there's little things here and there that are just bickering and arguing things. But it is so easy to like yell at people now or to get yelled I mean, at. Like, OK, it's, it's e- OK. You're getting yelled at more often. Let's say that a lot more often. Well, we've been seeing it, you know, on the Internet all the time. People just getting. Well, that's just the worse, Internet. Just worse. Well, that's the thing. That's where you communicate I mean, these days in real life. It. I mean, you say one tiny Thing. Yeah, and now it's like you hurt my feelings. Oh no, hurt feelings report. Actually, <laughs> you you printed one of those off when we were working together. <laughs> what was it? Uh, uh, it's uh, a hurt feelings report. And, and you'd put the name of the real man who hurt your feelings. And yeah, where he hurt your feelings at? How long you cried? And really? I, I printed them off at work, and I'd hand them to people that were butt hurt. So you probably saved that PDF oh in the cloud, God. didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah if you do that, if you could send that my way. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love, oh my God! I would love handing those out. Uh, yes, <laughs> just yes. make it a command on Twitch, just like a, Her, yeah. I would person. just like to use it at work in general. 
<laughs> so Quentin is also, uh, I, we've probably mentioned this before, but you also moderate both of our streams and yes, we've, we've, uh, we've kind of been coercing together with, with streaming together as well. And we'll get into more streaming things as well as we, uh, talk about, uh, Twitch and all that later on through the show. But, um, yesterday we celebrated my birthday. Um, let's talk about that a little bit. We went to a spa. Alex took me to a spa and we got a pedicure. And Josh got his rub. first pedicure. Yeah, and I didn't know how much a person actually needs this done in their life. To be honest, it's I I I think it's a weird. I think what you got out of it, what you discussed in the car, is that more men need to do this. Yeah, it is actually. <laughs> it's a, very targeted towards females, right? But it is very good for you, and you looked like you were like it's half enjoyable. in and out of right. sleep. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. it was nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's very enjoyable. Um. Uh, we napped. We were very tired after that. It was very relaxing. Josh decided to get the uh, lavender foot rubbed down, mm -hmm. which is Lavender's lavender essential oils rubbed all over your feet, and that's how they get absorbed. So Josh was like halfway through, like, <sighs> yeah, it's kind of why I'm barefoot. I'm like, I'm flaunting my feet a little bit on stream. Like, hey, look at these little toes in the corner. Here. I know, Josh, <laughs> you have feet now. So <laughs> there was like. I, towards like the middle of Josh, J Josh and I got different um, foot rubs or petties or whatever you want to call them. Right. And um, halfway through his, they're taking the the cheese grater to your feet. So, you know, like it's kind of, that is just a weird. That's skin, what I call it, the cheese grater. Like they it just take all is. the dead skin off. So as they're it's, doing it, she looks up at Josh and she like looks at me because she knows that he's never done this before. And she goes, you want a paraffin wax, <laughs> which is basically like just like at the end you get like a it's like a hot wax and it helps take off the rest of the dead skin as well as like moisturizing. It's really good for you. Mm -hmm. But it's like another add on. And I looked at her and she like she held up and I was like, well, I don't know if he needs it that she held up his uh uh, just one foot uh, and held up his cheese grater and it was like covered. I'm like, yeah, he needs it. But the thing is, you don't know you need this stuff. You don't know you need it until Josh it's Josh was like, I don't done. know. And I'm like, give him the paraffin wax. So the thing is like they, there's there's a lot of a lot of things that you just don't know about your feet that need to be done. It's kind of crazy. It's, um, it was really nice though. Very, very nice. And massages. Um, and then we went to uh, Red Robin. I got a free burger and a free shake. And... My God. If you want to have a birthday, go to Red Robin. They yeah. give you so much free stuff I mean, you have for to be your part birthday. Of the, you have to be part of their birthday club. You get a free burger. Oh, the most expensive burger on your ticket you anyway. You know what you do? You give them your email. Literally that. And then uh, they also said, oh, this also includes a free shake. And it's like, whoa, <laughs> this is too much already. But it was a good celebration. And we napped and spent the evening together watching TikTok. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I was, I, we have to show Quentin that unless you already sent it to him. Oh, well, the statistically one with, like, possible. The, the one, the one, all right, so there's, there's this, there's this bigger possible. chick. There's this bigger chick, and she's bending over in the fridge. And there's two guys in the kitchen. And he, like, looks up, or three guys in the kitchen. And he, like, looks down. And it's, like, the dude's best friend, like, looks down at the girl's ass. And he's, like... Dude, what the fuck? Why are you be looking at my girl's ass? And he's just, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, it's I'm sorry. You can't just have a woman's ass that big in your face and not look. And then <laughs> he like throws him out of the kitchen. And his other best friend goes, Dude, why are you be disrespecting? <laughs> and he's, he's got just this got the a freaking like foot long boner sticking out. <laughs> yeah, like, he did. Dude, why that. you be disrespecting? <laughs> Disrespectful. Oh my god! It's disrespectful. Disrespectful. And Josh and <laughs> I, sorry. like, I think Josh and I were crying last <laughs> night. Mainly, I, I've that. seen it before, and I was like, uh, "Well, I'm just gonna see what your reaction is." And your reaction was better. Like, I love when you <laughs> no. have someone to laugh with. With those, yeah, things. it's, it's just kinda, way it's better. a different, it's a different experience. Instead but of just lolling. The by other one last night that got on. us crying, like I couldn't breathe, was it was. This, there was this kid, and he said, "When you have nothing else at home to do, or when you're bored at home," and it was him inside of his garage parked on top of his or laying <laughs> on top of his <laughs> hummer <laughs> he's got a ceiling fan spinning at full blast and he's like flat on his back and he just does a hip thrust into the <laughs> oh, and you yeah. just hear a vroom, vroom. <laughs> <laughs> and he starts like convulsing because he just whacked his dick so hard with it like that kind of stuff is like it just kills me man i it's, need it's freaking hilarious oh it's not how is this not showing up the what are you trying to the find? The Sheely meal. -y. The Sheely meal. The, the oh, the, the Sheely. Uh, uh, t just look up TikTok Sheely meal. It was come and go, right? Yes, come and go. Yeah, it was come and go. There yeah. it is. Yeah, there it How is. This dude not... is awesome, by the so way. So I wanted to bring this up. and We're, yes. we're going to bring it up now because we're talking about TikTok. 
But an influencer, I mean, I sent this stuff to you, Quentin, and, yep. we're, and you're, you're pretty well well versed in this as well. So I'm glad you're, you're on. And if Brett was on, he'd be like, I hate this. This is stupid. This would, be, this would annoy me. But <laughs> this guy went into a gas station, put down a nine foot cardboard cutout of himself and just said the the kyle shealy meal <laughs> and it's just him with a pizza guitar and he just he went to a, a kinko's cut it out and and got it and he propped it up one in himself and it no just one asked any questions <laughs> but something came of it he he literally said I don't know what this is going to do, and I'm all ears for whatever this is going to whatever's going to happen. Have you and seen there, the follow up? Oh, I the whole thing. Red Bull, he, he, like nothing was going to come of it. Like come and go was like, yeah, maybe we'll. I think I'm pretty certain it's come and go, right? Yeah. It is. Come it's and go. come and go. Yeah. Um, the wank and spank. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the weirdest name of a I gas know, right? station. <laughs> but anyways, I like, love seeing the reaction videos of people walking in. And uh, stitching his TikTok and people walking in up to the counter and going, what's the shielding meal? And, and the, like, the people no are like, idea. I honestly, I don't know. <laughs> like, they don't know what to say. But what was the, what was the <laughs> official outcome, Quentin? Do you, do you remember? Um, he has so many brand deals that he has to filter through. Because originally <laughs> it, it's it's your popular ones like Adobe. Um, trying to think. Red Bull was definitely one of them. Oh, uh, a, quite a few brands reached out to him and... Uh, they're actually making the the Sheely meal, which is going to be two slices of pizza oh, slapped together into a sandwich Dude. with a Red Bull for five bucks. Isn't that? Oh, oh, there it is. Just like like yeah, right there. Wow. And uh, <laughs> the cool thing is they slap it together um, like a Sammy. Yeah, because he wanted a pizza oh, sandwich. Yeah. That's true. That's so amazing. Make it a pizza sandwich. Why don't we eat pizza like that? Honestly, that's a pretty decent deal right there. Five bucks. Yeah, five bucks. I mean, pizza. I cheap. mean, it's come Hold and on. go pizza. Alex, I had this discussion with you yesterday. Pizza is cheap. Pizza is easy it's to make. It's very cheap. It's the cheapest meal to give anybody, and it's kind of just it's, it's kind of like just the the trashy meal these days. I hate to say it that way, but this is an amazing experience. Did you see that it says available now? Down? Yeah. Nowy, Nowy, because <laughs> um, it's ki- ki- the Kyle Sh- Sheely Mealy. Oh, the Kyle uh, last name. available Nowy. <laughs> <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> oh, Nowy, Nowy. <laughs> so no, that's awesome. The the cool thing I think is for either this month or they're starting next month. Um, so it's a five dollar meal, and you get you know the two slices of pizza, which makes one sandwich, and the and the Red Bull for five bucks. But they're, I think they're going to take three dollars of that and donate it to charity. Yeah, for like the, nice. first the charity month. thing. Yeah, for just this month or whatever. And they're trying to roll it out as fast as possible to every store, which is the they want to make it an easy thing that every store is already carrying. I'm guessing. <gasps> Josh, and... we might be able to go and order it next month. Holy shit, we are going through the Midwest. We're going to be going through the Midwest. Where and there all the are coming come and goes, goes everywhere. everywhere. I mean, you can come and go everywhere in the Midwest, <laughs> Shut Quentin. Alex. <laughs> I'm not joking, you can. <laughs> all right, I found it. I found my list. The come and go, the squirt and skirt, the smash no. and pass. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? How many are there? Hundreds. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sure there's plenty. I thought you were going to continue oh, a little bit. <laughs> the hit it and, and quit it. Hit it the, and quit uh, it. the shoot and scoot. <laughs> Breeder and lever. Breeder and lever. The oh. jizz and jet. <laughs> Did you just sit there one day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably this on the This is back crapper. when I lived with my best friend, Aaron. Um, Sometimes you just have that good like communication with a, a friend where... It, you can just be stupid with each other yes. and come up with the greatest ideas. Well, we drank uh, a gallon of Jameson every <laughs> week. And what we'd do is we'd, we'd just sit there and one of our sessions was we'd take a drink and then we'd come up with one and then we'd pass the bottle and we'd take another swig and we'd go back and forth and that it just wrote down the list. <laughs> Straight. Sometimes Straight the, Jameson? Yes. The best uh, ideas it, come from uh, okay. good times. So when you were here for the Halloween party, we got this peanut butter whiskey. Did you have some with us or no? Uh, no, we cracked that stuff after he was already yeah, three was sheets. Of the wind. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I was going to say three sheets of the wind, but no, he. we can just skip that and go to, straight to dead. That's fine. <laughs> so checking on you. you need to check your I, haven't, a few I haven't been able to verbally defend myself except for on stream. Um, <laughs> but here's a, here's a podcast as well. Yeah. Let's do it. So 
I, I, I distinctly remember when I started to lose consciousness, and it was well before I even went outside. Uh-huh. Because uh, Josh had asked me a question, and I remember responding to that question. And then I came to, and I was outside. And then I remember leaning against the car. Yep. I don't remember falling out. <laughs> I don't remember the entire adventure to get inside. Oh, you would. The deadlifting. You were, you I were remember a ragdoll. distinctly <laughs> asking for water. Oh, yeah. But oh, that I don't wasn't remember. In, oh, my God. I that don't, wasn't until later, man. I don't remember getting the water. Oh, you did, and you threw it right back up. Well, I mean, that happens when you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't. You just die. <laughs> Evidently not, because here I am. Yeah. <laughs> the resurrection. That was team. probably about two then, hours, at least two hours after we'd already put you on the couch that you asked for water, by the way. <laughs> yeah. And. I love it. I, and, and then the other two, when someone woke me up and asked me if I was doing all right, and I said no. And then the other time someone woke me up and I said yes. Uh-huh. Uh, and then at 9.30, I snapped awake. I'm trying to find like a movie reference in my head. Like It was just like, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> where am I? <laughs> it's like the brain decided to kick back on. said, all right, I love we've rested that enough. Because I've had those moments where I'm just like, and I look around, and suddenly I don't know like, how I got where here, am but I? I'm safe. Why I'm, are my pants I'm undone? I'm comfortable. Okay, I totally... Oh, wait I a minute. Witnesses. Hold on. Wait I have a second. Witnesses. What? I have witnesses. I surgically, I basically this. surgically <laughs> removed his belt <laughs> because it was... It looked like it was like cutting off your circulation and I needed you to be able to breathe a little bit better, and you were just a bucket of sweat, so we needed you to cool down a little bit. So, <laughs> frame so, of reference, frame of reference back quite a few podcasts ago i i'm the the sleep the sleep naked i oh well, there you go 100 yeah, 100%, yeah. I didn't um think that that was because crazy. i am a hot box oh, okay i i figured I that out very quickly i ended up because i put cold towels all over your face but i ended up getting an extra towel and i just threw it right over your abdomen and i'm like who cares it's just water you're gonna get your pants wet but oh well I mean, uh, yeah. did you piss your... I, I mean, that's kind of a personal question. Hope you didn't pee yourself. Nope. <laughs> didn't I didn't have that I, issue. I think he was too dehydrated to pee himself. Yeah. Dehydration <laughs> is big on that that matter, I'd say. Definitely. Now, there was at one point when I, I was the one that asked you those two questions. You said, I, I asked you if you're okay. And I think you said no the first time. And no was no. And I said, what do you need? And you said water. And then I got you your water. And then you sat up for like two seconds. Um, Brig tried to hold your head up, I believe, at that point. Um, we'll just blame Brig on that. <laughs> and yeah, and then you basically just threw it right back up. But then that was enough to make me go right, make you go right back to sleep. I think and then, it was because like, I was so cotton mouth that oh, I just yeah. needed oh, something I wet doubt it. in my mouth yeah, to I wouldn't doubt it. hydrate. I agree. Yeah. Um, and then I went to go check on you again. I said, uh, how are you feeling? And you kind of had your eyes in the back of your head. And I said, how are you feeling? And you didn't really say anything. You just smiled really big and, and then started to snore. <laughs> And I was like, okay, he's feeling okay now. <laughs> and then we remember, left you alone. I do remember, like in in sleep state, um, it, it I was hallucinating. I oh yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. I I was seeing all sorts of colors. Right. <laughs> uh, Briggs says that's fair. By the way. <laughs> good. Good. <laughs> We gotta go. We gotta go through the NFL and stuff. Yes, yeah. Football time. Football, football time. Football conversation. I, I should. I should have a, a a lower thirds for this because we're getting through the NFL and it's actually a segment that you know Brett loves doing. Brett and, loves doing the NFL um, segment. And I'm I'm all on. I'm all ears and I'm bored for it all the time. Um, but uh, let's just go down the list. Patriots um, rocked the Falcons twenty five nothing on Jeez. Thursday. Uh, I I don't I don't think we watched any of that game. Uh, no, I was bit. streaming, and I knew it was gonna be a bar fest. Uh, we watched like a tiny bit, and then I was mm. like, it's not worth it. Um, Ravens beat the Bears sixteen to thirteen. That was actually I wanted to happen. I wanted the Bears to be lower on the NFC North because there are literally two spots fighting for the NFC North, and that is the Vikings and the Packers. And the Vikings showed up we on did. Sunday. We did. We won. Oh. We beat him at home. You could tell those last two minutes, two and a half minutes, the Packers were getting pissed. They were mad. They're, they're starting to get. They were playing rough. Fisticuffs. We watched the whole game. Yep. Thirty-four, thirty-one. Vikings won by a field goal. We thought it was going to end in a in an upset because it always happens. NFL. They do. They do. It always yeah. happens for the Vikings. And I'm going to be a little biased here, but Kirk Cousins was throwing. Throw for throw with Aaron Rodgers, basically a little bit better. He got two interceptions called back, so there are zero interceptions on Kirk Cousins' mm -hmm. case. He had one sack, I believe, maybe two. 
Mm-hmm. So Cousins threw the ball. I know. Finally. <laughs> Quentin, did you watch that game at all? Mm-hmm. No? No, was Sunday? That was a good game. Um, did you watch the Colts game? I didn't get to watch any football. No I've football? been so busy with no. work that I I thought I lost. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't watched oh, any football. We'll I fantasy? thought I lost. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll get – Speaking we'll, of the Colts. They – <laughs> what the hell, Taylor? Colts running back. 51 points. 51 points 51 on our points fantasy. 51 points in fantasy. In most fantasies, over 50 points. 41, running back for four, the Colts. 41 to 15. What is it? Five touchdowns? That guy? Jeez. I, I, Who he, did was, he was on fire. They played the Bills? Colts, Bills? Oh, yeah. The Bills can't stop the run. I don't know how they can't. The Bills are doing great this year, though, aren't they? Yeah, but through in the air. Oh. In the air defense, I... I I wouldn't put any wide receiver out there against the Bills to expect you to win leverage really? against their defense. See, because their I, zone coverage is outstanding, yeah. but their front line defense against the run, they create too many holes hmm. and allow that. If, if you get a skilled running back through there, it, cut them apart. I wonder I wonder who the Bills are facing the rest of the year. That's interesting. Um Browns barely beat the Lions. But they did. But they did. The My Lions mom said s- she was going to be pissed. <laughs> As an avid Browns fan, she, if she had her I somewhat, team. I somewhat feel her pain. I, I'm not a Browns fan, right. but I am an Ohio State fan. Yeah. Oh, okay. And laterally, you have the Browns. Right. So I always, I'm always secretly pulling for the Browns. <laughs> you're feeling for them. Yeah. You're like, okay, in a professional standpoint. Like, you're a Broncos fan. Do yes. you have an NFC, NFC team that you root for? Uh, not really. No? I always have. Uh, Alex and I, we have an AFC and NFC. So. And see, that's where this is. Uh, you know, I love football. I love to watch football. But right. I am more focused during college football yeah. than I am in the NFL. Yeah. So that's why I really only follow the Broncos. Right. But I also follow, like, You'll see me root for like the Cowboys. Yeah, because uh, Ezekiel Elliott. Oh yeah, was Ohio State running back, dude. Oh, and I didn't. So know I that. will pull for Ohio State players that have gone on. Okay, a lot of people do that where they um where they follow a certain player for a, a period of time after college. Um, but uh, moving down the line here, uh, Washington beat the Panthers twenty seven twenty one. Um, not much to say on that one. Texans beat the Titans twenty two to thirteen. That is a big deal because the Texans are a terrible team and they should not have won this game. Same with the Niners beating the Jaguars 30-10. to 10. They're both terrible teams anyway. <laughs> Dolphins. Now. What? Right now. Yeah, right now. Dolphins beat the Jets 24-17. Um, Eagles rock the Saints 40-29. I know, man. Jeez. I am thankful of that. Saints need Who to. Who is home team? I believe the Eagles were. Okay. Let me see. Uh, yes, they were. Yep. Um, the Bengals beat the Raiders. I do apologize. Sorry, Patrick. Patrick. 32 to 13. It's a little bit of a stinker there. A little bit of an upset. A little bit of stinker. Well, the, the Raiders have had kind of an injury problem. They have. Everyone's had, had an a, injury in, problem yeah, this year. The Raiders year. have had a lot of problems this year. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, them, Just in general. Coach problems. Player at problems. problems. At the beginning of the year, they, they looked strong. They did. They did. Oh, they looked yes. amazing. Yeah. And then as time trailed on, I, I, I feel, I mean, we just signed away two players. Yeah. And to get, uh, I think if we got a second round draft pick. For them, for something. Yeah, we got better draft positioning hmm. for the trade. And But my God. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, Patrick. <laughs> no. No. Um, go Chiefs. They beat the Cowboys 19 to 19. 19 to 9, sorry. I was like, what? 19 to 9. <laughs> um pretty happy about that one the chiefs Mahomes didn't do amazing he did fine he didn't do amazing but they still won wins a win for that uh cardinals beat the seahawks 23 uh 23 to 13 chargers and the steelers were neck and neck on scoring 41 to 37 so it was like a vikings packers game back to back um and then uh last night it was uh buccaneers going up against the giants 30 to 10 so tom brady did okay so he did okay. He did Tom okay. Brady did Tom Brady things. He did he Tom did Brady, Tom Brady, things. Brady yeah. things. I don't know if there was any sneak on that or anything. I just want to throw in, you know, because I am Fantasy an Ohio State wise. fan. Fantasy wise, um, we 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 kind of spanked somebody that was a top ten ranked opponent. Was that uh, Michigan State? Oh yeah, That's who we played. Uh, the score final end uh, seven to fifty six. Woo! 
Damn. Uh, against a top 10 ranked opponent. I think a lot of it is in the, the ranking system uh, because for college playoffs, it's only the top uh, four teams taken. Yeah. Um, and then uh, the last several years have been plagued by it just being the SEC, uh, the Southern Conference. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so a lot of people are trying to position their teams in the rankings to be up there, to be competitive, to bring more of the Big Ten, Big 12, Mm. um into the fold there when i think unilaterally everyone kind of agrees that just need as a system that needs redone there Mm -hmm. should be like a playoff within your own division and then do a you know north versus south Mm -hmm. east versus west that's not how they're doing it though just big schools (laughs) it's just whoever has the biggest program i hate that that's a little unfair it's very unfair and that's how some people get drafted a little bit well and you wrote dude there's no draft who was uh, who was the guy that started for the Lions that shouldn't have on Sunday? He had oh, a he had a losing rookie? record. The, uh, the not rookie. Uh, well, it's his first time starting. Yes, it was his first time starting. Um, Bo- his, his Boyd. His, no, his, his track record. Boyle. I, I, don't I think know. his last name's Boyle. It's, I think it starts with a B. He was a backup for Aaron Rodgers, and then he got traded to the Lions, and now he's starting. And he had a losing record in he college. Had like, and he interceptions all. He had all like negative five hundred yards or some. Kind no, no, no. Of it was almost that crazy. It's like a negative a hundred. So no, it was like ridiculous. It was a big. It was a huge number, and then like thirteen re- uh, interceptions in a game or something. Like it was just ridiculous about him. Like how did this guy go from he got traded to different college? Uh, he, he moved. Uh, he he, uh, Boyle. You were right, Boyle. Breast Tim watching. Boyle. Yes, yes Boyle. I he knew it. He got traded to like two different colleges where he was just like the worst quarterback ever, and then somehow ended up being the second runner up to uh, Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. And then got traded to the Lions, and somehow is on the field for the NFL <laughs> playing. <laughs> How he's, he's a garbage player too. <laughs> He's a trash player. That just tells you right That's now that, that dream that, big, kids. That tells you right now <laughs> your dreams can happen. They can happen. <laughs> your dreams can happen. I love it. Dream big. Dream big. Oh my god. Um, but I cannot. I cannot believe. I cannot believe that. Uh, that's that's a thing. Um, anyways, moving on. Um, we're talking about fantasy now. Um, I'll just get Brett's out of the way. He lost in both leagues. Um, Alex. Uh, you can talk about yours after mine, but I won against Brett. I crushed him by 60 points in the Gridiron Glory. That's our uh, one with our other group of friends. But for the PTO League, um, I lost to Patrick. He beat off to Grandma uh, yep. by three points. By three points. <laughs> it was points. really close. It was really close. Yeah, you always just got to get those last <clears throat> couple inches in when you're beating off to Grandma. It was so close. I think you beat me last week, didn't yes, you? I did. Yes, I did, did beat off to Grandma. He did. God dang it. My friends have got to stop doing this sick perverted thing. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, uh, you're you're back and forth on yours too. I I'm doing horrible in one league. In well, I, well, I mean both are actually pretty. But bad. the other one, you're you're no, you're, this you're one, coming back. My my uh, not PTO <clears throat> league. Me. I am five and six. I lost that league. Um, and then my uh, PTO Unlimited podcast uh, league. I won. I you believe. beat Brett. Yes. I, yes, I did beat Brett. So we both have Brett in but different I am leagues. But I'm also I'm also three and eight. <laughs> but you beat me last week, right? Yeah, I was two and eight then. <laughs> so now you're four and eight. No, right? now I'm three and eight because I won this. Week. Oh, did you beat me in the other league? I beat you in the other league. Other league, okay. Yeah, you helped me with How'd that you do? one. Uh, so I actually going into like mid Sunday, I quit watching. <laughs> Wait, you like, are you done? <laughs> Who are you going against? You're going against uh, uh, cousin Andrew, right? No, no, that was that was uh, Bragg. So you're going against um, the G Buster, Rick. Rick. Yeah, going up against Rick. Uh, he, I mean, he's, he swooped it early. He's terrible this year, though. Uh, five, six, and you know? oh, yeah, he's me. Oh. I mean, that's that's just kind of more. He was constant loss, but then yeah, he did. and then I gave. Did you ever watch? Did you ever Jones. watch the the trade tracker? Uh, to see how many trade or waivers are claimed no. in a single week. No. Yeah, you can do that through the app. Oh, and, I didn't know uh, that. Hmm. Is Rick he, on he, there? He was like 23 this week. Holy 14. shit. 14. Rick. Oh God, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but I was he's, indecisive. He's trying. But he's I, trying. Quit, I quit watching like mid-Sunday, and then I was like, I'm not even going to look at it Monday. I'm just going to get the notification, and then I swiped it away. 
Uh, I have so many Tuesday. people out uh, or on by or yeah. injured. Like I, I just I can't. And then That's, there's nobody to pick up. And I'm not going to trade anybody right now because who I have is who I'm relying on. <laughs> and like we I'm said, just kind of everyone's stuck. Everyone's injured. Yeah. Um. But then we were going to talk about it, so I was like, okay, I'm just going to look, see how bad I did, and then I. <laughs> Like, oh, 142 to 155. How are you doing? That's how many? Bad, how many you're in a few, aren't you? Uh, I got six and five. No, how many, no, how how many, many leagues, leagues are you in? in? Uh, just one. Oh, oh just I thought you one. were in a few this year. Uh, I've been so busy with work yeah. that I really wanted to be part of this one because I knew the banter would be fun. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> but every other paid league that I usually Nobody's talking for, smack in our league because I think everyone's just like, please just let me uh, win. No, you know, I, think, I think it's, I think it's cousin because Cousin Andrew started it off he too started heavy. It. And then it just never happened. Well, okay, and then Patrick we have, and I were doing a then we have Brig, who's just got beginner's luck. He is doing because he had well, Taylor. He has Taylor. He has Taylor. This is a man who didn't know how to draft. He drafted the <laughs> defense first. I did I didn't either. But he dra- you've never drafted the defense first. No, I'm not even talking about that. He didn't even know how to like, yeah, all my players are out. It's like, well, then trade somebody, you idiot. <laughs> he didn't know that. He didn't, know, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't even know he could drop did. players. And he's still in a winning like set. I just can't believe it. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. Um, But anyways, uh, moving on from that. Yeah, he's 5, 6, and 0. Oh. That's crazy. We are like our PTO league. Everyone has a winning chance. Even Alex, you might. You might. I don't know. No. You yeah, and we'll I see. are exactly even. You and me? Six, five, and oh with a point five four five win percent. Uh, I had like a 90% chance I was going to the playoffs like three weeks ago. I have you beat by under 100 points total hmm. for the season. It's close. It's going to be a close playoff season. Yeah, because we're West, and it's you and I stacked on top of each other, and then you have Why jump Pat here? and Brett. Why jump like your head? It's just got that that – slow catch up thing oh did it happen again yeah i'm sorry that means that we had a little bit of a power su- i don't did. know what happens i think it's a we did it goes like goes you know the, the aliens pop out again I think and it goes like it goes through the soundboard so i think the soundboard just needs to be on longer beforehand i think it just yeah maybe warm it charges up. up the backup on it i don't know yeah. warm warm it up i just can't wear my ears right now that's what I'm sorry. Well, we're going to be uh, listening to another voicemail here in a second um, oh. before we move on to the movie club because we need to yell. <laughs> Why? Is that oh, we're, gonna we're going to get there. I don't know what you're talking about, yelling. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have a voicemail oh, from Patrick on the Paranormal Pativity podcast. He was talking to something about uh, going up against me uh, and Alex talking about what is considered food with Wendy's. So, oh, okay. yeah, we're going to be playing this voicemail here real quick. So, um Ready. Hey, it's Patrick from the Paranormal Passivity Podcast and the Let Me Show You Something Podcast. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to agree with Josh on that whole thing with dessert. When you were saying it's not, it's, it, I mean, it technically is a food, but if someone says, "What's your favorite food at a restaurant?" Dessert isn't going to be the first thing that comes in mind. You would think it would be like, oh, I like the burgers. I like the chili. I like the fries. So, sorry, Alex. I have to say negative point for you on that one. And I was dying during that argument about the video game. I also have to say if it's in the game as a mechanic that they allow you to do, it's not necessarily a cheat. So, yeah, you're – Negative two on that one, Alex. Okay. All right, Patrick. Uh, I'm saying that weird because I'm <laughs> All right, double Patrick. <laughs> I can't see the uh, I can't hear my audio very well. Um, Patrick, that's uh that's not nice. <laughs> that's not nice. <laughs> and no, I don't know where you get the whole um if dessert because some people are known not necessarily for their non-dessert items some places like you know dairy queen uh is known for their desserts their right. ice cream well that's not dairy their queen. hot dogs we're not talking about dairy queen we're talking about wendy's but he's, so he's talking about like our argument he's like when you ask like wait what's your favorite food from like when you ask me what's, yeah, your, favorite what's your favorite food at wendy's, at wendy's you don't really think the of the frosty that man oh, okay I, I can i can see it i'm gonna do a poll at work what's your favorite food from from wendy's i okay. guarantee you most people are going to say the frosty why don't you list? You know, from like Drop in a Discord. Yeah. Oh. I'll put it in a Discord. Yeah. We'll do a poll. We'll do a poll. Yeah. Um, make sure you guys are joining our Discord as well on our About Us, on our YouTube, and all of our uh, audio platforms. We Discord? do have, we do not have, <laughs> we d- I don't know, does YouTube do commands? 
There's not an official integration, but I can probably find a workaround. Oh. Hmm. Or we could just do a command, like a copy paste. <laughs> Thank you, Brett. <laughs> Brett says, I think a frosty is a legit option. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we need to discuss uh, the Toxic Avenger. Before we get into it, this is the movie club, by the way, guys. So this is Quentin's uh, choice of uh, film. <laughs> and, Tell me a little uh, bit due, about this film, Josh. Due to the fact that Okay, first, before you go into this, Alex, no, I no, need no, to no, say no, the no, synopsis no. and what Rotten what Tomatoes saying. has on it. I'm asking you, why don't you tell the audience who has never seen The Toxic the Avenger, toxic Avenger. everything Avenger. about The Toxic Avenger before we talk about it. I don't it. even know if I can show anything. No, probably no. not. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So, Brett, you better count your mm, lucky stars here. Okay. So, Tromaville has a monstrous new hero. The Toxic Avenger is born when meek mop boy Melvin falls into a vat of toxic waste. Now, evildoers will have to will have a lot to lose. That's literally the synopsis. Here's Rotten Tomatoes. Critics give it a 70%. Fans give it a 63%. I don't understand how they have this level. To start off, we couldn't finish the movie. This is on our. This now took the place of Jeepers Creepers three. This is the worst film I have ever seen in my life. I want I want you to tell me why you chose this. It's and so bad, it's good. It, that's it, all that's, I've seen around the internet. So yeah, but I don't see where in, the good in a, is in a in a puff puff pass session. Uh, <laughs> Like how you describe that one? Okay. I don't uh, even think that I don't even could. Think it would, I don't would think that can we cure. We were sitting this. on the couch, and you know, you have like your go-to movies. And we're like, you know what? We're kind of tired of the go-to. Yeah. Uh, what's the best movie? And of course, like everyone is going to argue about what the best movie, right. movie franchise, all that. So we're like, okay, that's kind of boring. What's the worst movie? So we found like this top ten list, and the Toxic Avenger was on it, and it was free on Prime. <laughs> So we're like, <laughs> F it, put it in. Let's, you know, let's, let's see it. And <laughs> Brett says, I've never Whoa, laughed by the way, to our reaction. I've never laughed so hard in my life because it was so awful. The first five minutes, the first guy says, look at this fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> Josh and I were I'm like, just looked right at each other. We're like, all right, let's just see. I just, sorry about the, sorry, the, sorry, the sudden burst sorry, of language there. But the my language. God, this mother effing movie is the worst film i've ever seen in my life and it spawned so, i will say that the it spawned so quick. much more out of this alex I, you're gonna be surprised i, I have a lot to I say. i know i have a lot to say too but i just wanted to say the reason why we didn't finish it was one main reason as i'm older ish i cannot do gore the very gore much. in this film. and i know that it was very very cheesily done no 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 it is very well done Actually, no, it was very cheesily done. I don't think so. Don't Actually, there, the there's a scene development to and... make it is cheesy, but as far as the, I mean, they they put some, some of the effort stuff into looks it. legit. I'm sorry, but when uh, the point that got me was when the dude got the, the it was the taco uh, restaurant scene, mm-hmm. and oh, we'll get into that too. The dude made him his face a Sunday and then put the Sunday screw thingy into his mouth, and I was like okay i can't do it anymore <laughs> but we watched until the blind lady got to her house and she said what make sure you watch this <laughs> and like she, got in. And that, that was actually pretty funny. okay was that, that was, was hilarious there an actor, actress straight well, there's two different actresses in that film with the blind girl i would i uh, in what? later movies yes but i'd have to it looked like it was she two different like girls a completely from different the restaurant girl. to her house yeah I couldn't recognize and i, I couldn't see anything hell, online so I could. <laughs> <laughs> um out of sheer disgust and I, I couldn't connect to anything in this film. I had we had to turn it off, and I we couldn't even finish the last well, thirty minutes. At. What? L- look what your dad said. Said I love Toxic Avenger. I Are saw it over serious? thirty years ago. It was so bad. I loved Are it. Are you serious, Alex? Hold on. Let me get into this. It spawned three sequels. You're kidding. I am no. not kidding. <laughs> and I've watched like, I all of them. I feel sick talking have... about it. Are they any better? Worse? Are they about the same? I'm... About the same. About the, same. Uh, the story, they, they definitely didn't pay the writing department in some of them. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't pay the writing department in this the first one. time. <laughs> this movie is unwatchable. It is absolutely terrible. Like, I think this definitely took... There are f- We have four movies now that we have shut this off is... together. What? Lady in the Water, VHS, yep. Stan Helsing, yep. and The Toxic Avenger. Yep. Those are the only four movies we have ever the shut off. The only reason we we shut off VHS, I mean, I I like. I think it. we can go back to it. No, no, no. It was too again with the gore. 
Right. It was too gory. That hotel scene still gets me. Uh, it still gets me. Both of them. Yeah. There's it two still hotel gets scenes. And like, oh my God. It's really gross. It was just, it was yeah. way too realistic. And yeah. like, I was really interested in the whole like lore there's a of it. Huge but following. Mm, I can't. In all of these mm. movies that we've shut off, there's huge cult followings. It's amazing how much people love bad movies. I and Dad's Quentin's right here sitting movies. with us, loving every one of these movies that we have Gosh, spoken of. Just like this, as far like, as the you know, Toxic underground goes, anyway, but. group of people that thinks it's like that knows of the. That, all right, here's the deal: is like when Quentin says, "I want to see the Toxic," or you, "I want to watch the Toxic Avenger." I actually have heard of the movie i know i knew and Did anybody I at knew, your work i knew i didn't say anything okay. about it. i didn't have time to talk about it um because I, I wasn't there yesterday mm-hmm. and that's usually when i talk about it mm-hmm. um i had actually heard the name or the title of this movie but i have never i knew absolutely nothing about it and i warned you several times every time i recommended it it is god awful bad I but that's what makes like, it good it's like, god awful gory yeah if it wasn't for the gore i would have been able to make it through it but it was it was really the gore that made me like, and, and we just some... got done eating, and it was just... <laughs> <laughs> we did. What did we have? Uh, Red Robin. Burgers, yeah. Burgers. Yeah. We sat down for my oh. birthday to watch and this see movie. This, and see, I, I and guess it's just cream. levels levels of gore, because when I worked at Movie Rental Place, uh, I Spit It On Your Grave uh, oh, came sure. out. I hear that's pretty bad, too. That one is... Uh, can't imagine i'll stick with like my paranormal kind of scary movies or even 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 doing on um, watching halloween mm-hmm. halloween is even not that bad and we finished it what do you mean we didn't turn it off we didn't pause it or anything oh yeah i mean i'm like that level of gore is fine but it's like it's like these underground okay so watching that scene um from this is why i'm not gonna watch children of the corn Okay. Watching that scene in the taco restaurant, yeah, that reminded me of Children of the Corn. I'm sure how it's the just kids as like bad. they just yeah. it's like the first scene they like they run in, they start stabbing all these old people, and they take somebody's arm and they stick it in a a Sunday sh- mix or whatever, and it like you know goes up in blood. And I'm like, you know, to me that was like traumatizing as a twelve year old, right? <laughs> but like I was like I can't watch it because and in the way that it was shot is shot just like the way the Toxic Avenger was shot. So it's like, it just reminded me of it. And I'm like, this is just, it made my stomach turn. We have another uh, comment on YouTube from Viet Guy, which is uh, AKA Tony. It's a Tony. Hey, Tony. Thank you for joining us. He said, I think gore can be a good thing. Cabin in the Woods was gory, but the humor made it funny. Cabin okay, in the Woods. Cabin okay. in the Woods was Cabin in the Woods wasn't fine. as bad because the gore was just, proper. I know. Like, there's proper just level. Certain, I don't know how to put this into a gore category. It's over the top. Just over the top gore. Is that Some, what it yeah, is? Yeah, yeah. Cabin in the Woods was pretty darn gory, but it was it was. But it was fine. Stomachable for some reason because I think it might have been the lighting or the way the cameras. I, because this, I don't know, just done right. I don't know. Toxic Avenger is like obviously. They intentionally go out of their way to make, make it, it bad. extra. To, yes, but so to does, take a scene that would have been bad enough with the the shotgun or anything else involved in that scene, but to take it to the you know dial oh it to God, twenty, dude. yeah, pretty much. Dial that's it what, to that's 20. what I felt like with it. Was, um, let's take this and just go, uh. and that and then the, it, it, dude, you can't you can't let me watch uh, movies with freaking animal abuse in it, man. The they dog should, was the, trained the, to crawl. That wasn't way. it. It was the fact that the dog got shot with a shotgun. Okay. He really didn't, and it was. I know it was gray it spaghetti. It doesn't. Uh, it does not ever really happen. And okay, so uh, a couple of facts about this film, and about more of the uh, the films. Uh, Marissa Tomei is actually in this movie as an extra coming out of the shower. So I actually had to look that up. It's like there's no way Marissa Tomei is, and she is uh, very young. Uh, the painted man in the restaurant, by the way, he quit the film after having to point the shotgun at a baby. All right, that was actually really disturbing. Too. That was disturbing. That was really disturbing. Was like him pointing the shotgun at the kid, and I'm like, usually that stuff. Like, I don't want to say like sound weird that it doesn't bug me, but they usually don't get you like can, you said, dial it up to twenty. Like usually they'd be like, oh look, look it's a kid, it. but you know the shotgun would be pointed down in that type of a scene, or he wouldn't be talking about it. He would have walked up to him or something. On it. He like just pointed the shotgun directly at like the, kid. the mic like, is like the the shotgun like, is like, at, at the kid's the child. face. I'm it's like, like okay, good this God. is this is definitely yeah. What Quentin said, turn it up to twenty. Let's just see what we can do with Break these people. Break the damn knob off. Oh, my God. <laughs> that, was, that was very nerve-wracking. And I was like, if they shoot the baby, I'm just, I'm done. I'm just going to shut it off right there. They, they did. <laughs> no, they didn't. I thought the head exploded, didn't it? 
Oh, funny. that was different. That was a different scene. Might have been a different scene. <laughs> I read. A, I read. A, I read a scene about no, the they, wig. No, they ran over I the boy. I wasn't in. The, I was not in the room for the restaurant scene. No, they ran over the 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 boy on the bike. That that twelve year old boy on the bike. I mean, that was enough. Yeah. That yeah. You know. Um, there's actually a documentary on this film. Did you know that? Mm-mm. Just came out in 2017 called The uh, Toxic Tutu. You should look it up. It actually, it goes over a lot of stuff about um, how the movie came to be and everything. So, I Where think... have these actors gone? Have they gone on to do not really, things? Not really. Not really. Not really. They're kind of just <laughs> Bs. They, actually, they... these would be considered D-listers, right? They would be like right? F actors. Yeah. D- D-list. D-list like, actors. Yeah. Um, Alex, this also spawned an animated show oh, and, no. and toy line called the Toxic Crusaders. Did yes. you know about that? Yes, no. About 91 that. to 93. How did Rotten Tomatoes give this? You said a 70%? Yeah. How? People have these. Cult following. Cult following. Rock, Rocky Horror has. Rocky Horror is on a different level here, okay? We can't. I don't know. If, there's no way we can compare Rocky Horror to this. There's. Yeah. Maybe like a scene or two, but that's like about it. Rocky <laughs> Horror is like here. Toc- Toxic Avenger is like underneath the carpet, man. <laughs> no, they broke the knob off. It's well over. Well, I actually, I mean, like, all right, if you're really talking about that, then technically it would be like, wait. See, Alex, here. you mentioned Hills Have Eyes and you can't watch that. That's not as gory. It the is Hills just Have Eyes wrong. is not really. It's yeah. See, that, see, that was the other thing that was wrong with the Toxic Avenger for me. It was like it was just there were certain things that were just. You can't watch. I can't watch it. Like, it's just, it, it was too much. Yeah. Like, that dial could be at, like, 19, and I'd be able to finish it, maybe. But they turned it up to 20. <laughs> Pretty much. I was like, what the hell are they doing with this but, movie? I mean, that's the, that's the point. Yes, though. I get it. But, they, I mean, thank you, you for showing me this movie so it could take my number one spot. It's been a couple years ago that I rewatched yeah. it. I need to delete this from my memory. Right? <laughs> Brett says that he remembers the Toxic Crusader tours. Me too. I kind of really, I, I kind of remember some of that stuff. I don't. Commercials um, for it. Yes. Uh, Tony says the hills have eyes gory, but that one I didn't like. See, the only reason I really didn't like I that didn't one like is it. because it's wrong. Okay. Like it just was very wrong, and the, the rape oh. scene really got me. I forgot to tell you what the uh, what the uh, t- uh, cartoon is about. Oh uh, yeah, what's the cartoon? A group about? of mutants fight against the pollution loving alien Doctor Killamoff. <laughs> In the fictional city of Tromaville, led by Toxie, a nerd turned superhero. I will say one one um besides the blind woman tripping over her own like front door or whatever, she's like, watch your step or watch the Him whatever. walking backwards was hilarious, by the way. All the time trying to hide his hiding face. his face. Well, yeah, that was one thing. But that and then her going and reaching for one of her canes and then, you know, like fifty fall down. Um <laughs> well, oh, well, oh my gosh, you're trying to make me remember okay so when he goes when he goes up to his he's he's just newly transformed into whatever this thing is that he is a monster and he goes and knocks on his door like hey mom it's me whatever my name is i don't even remember his name melvin and she screams and he's like oh i guess i'll just go to this plant and make myself a home and he somehow has a freaking picture of his mom (laughs) (laughs) he like you were in the you were in the kitchen making something i was making i was was like i need to get up for a minute because it was right after it was right after like the that one scene and he like made himself like a bed (laughs) pushing oh i saw him cry yeah i saw him crying and you were laughing yeah and he is face palming he somehow just has like this random picture of like a heart with his mom inside of it at this toxic waste area and i was like well okay that was actually pretty funny and i don't even know why it was just it's okay, goofy. that was funny. It it's was goofy. goofy. I get this movie. Slapstick but, at yeah, that it was, point. It was slapstick. Uh, I, yeah. I have to give this an income. I can't even review I it. I can't even review it. I can't even give it a, like, I give it a point 0.5. I, I can't that's, even... That was the point. It was the point. <laughs> that was the point to yeah. give it a point 0.5. There you go. I don't even remember what I gave it, um, uh, Jeepers Creepers 3. Maybe a one. <laughs> you flipped out on that one too, yeah. Yeah. I gave it a little bit higher of a score because it dealt with, the, it was a prequel to two. A sequel to one, but I only gave it a little bit because it gave you more information. It was awful. <laughs> Just yeah, remembering when, his iPod. But when out. you uh, when you text me, what I text you back? Oh God, let me let me let me go there. Uh. <laughs> I feel like I've seen some really bad movies, and this one is definitely the worst movie. Welcome to the shit show, lol. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, be prepared to hear a very wordy review. Yes. You said, I hope you enjoyed. No, Welcome I mean it was. It's definitely Bad. an experience, and it has been years since Josh and I have shut off a movie. Like we both looked at each other and we're like, "We should shut it off." And then we went another like five minutes. Yeah, 
yeah, maybe five minutes. And we're like, yeah, we're going to shut it off. I can't do it anymore. Turned on we TikTok were, and just Yeah, I was like, we turned on TikTok and I was like, I was just getting queasy. I'm like, I'm probably going Speaking, to go throw up Okay, right so we're going to transition out of here. Um, Ghostbusters is next week because Brett's going to be on. So he'll be reviewing that while we talk about that with him as well. Um, we'll have to rewatch it if you want, Alex. We just watched it, but... You know. I know that movie like by heart. Yeah. Um, speaking of bad, um, Battlefield 2042 is now considered one of the worst rated games on Steam. This is insane. And I don't know how it can be so negative. Quentin, you love this game, right? Are you having mm-hmm. fun with it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Why is it? Brig, Brig and I went back and forth on Battlefield. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's a Talk little Talk about lack- it because you're an actual yeah. player. Yeah. So it's a little lackluster on the front. Uh, going back to like Bad Company 2 when I started playing Battlefield, I always felt like I had more content available to me at launch. Oh, Bad Company 2, yeah, apparently. But that, this that Battlefield, you have to take into the frame of mind that it wasn't built as a standalone game. The big part of what they were trying to do was Portal, which is a glimpse into the past, but with a modern graphics engine. Mm. I'm able to go back and pay, play multiplayer maps on Bad Company 2 with the weapons, with the vehicles, uh, Battlefield 3, um, Battlefield One stuff they just come out with. Yeah, you're you're able to step back and you're able to create custom lobbies where I can take a World War One themed uh, battlefield and make them face off against 2042, and see how the you know what kind of craziness would ensue. Who would win in theory? Dude, technology wins all the time. No, but you make the lobby like you stack you know 60 players in World War One and then you take 20 or mm. 15 modern and see if you know. Okay. Even with modern equipment, could they beat yeah. the numbers? Mm. Stuff like that. And I've had crazy amount of fun in those lobbies. That's interesting. But as far as the base game, when it's just 2042 and the maps they've released, it feels lackluster. Is it crossplay? Yes. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder how that would uh, be. Vehicles are a little too dominant. Right. I hear that the hovering hovercraft does some crazy wall climbing still. So. Yeah. Um, but And Brig and I went back and forth on that too. Is right. Every Battlefield ever released has had bugs, has had the game breaking right. bugs. Yeah. And that's what's made it fun. It's <laughs> not like. Um, like you enjoy the bugs? Yeah, absolutely. I guess, I mean, that's what Destiny was. Destiny had the fun glitches and, and stuff that we. And they kept those and in. And then they kept them in because. I, we yes. needed to do Destiny and, yeah, again. I know. And Battlefield embraced it. They especially that's... embraced it in the, uh, the release trailer when they showed the hop out of a jet, do an RPG transition Gosh. into another jet. Like. That no way in real life are you doing that. But it was crazy fun, and they acknowledged it. They did. They embrace it versus your other main uh, FPS shooters or anything like that. As soon as a glitch comes, they're they're locking it out. They're banning people who are utilizing it. If it's in the game, if it's in the game that you publicly posted, yeah. and I found a way around whatever you're trying to block me from doing, you cannot punish me for that. Mm. Now, if I go use third-party code, and to yeah. modify your game into doing something? Yeah. Absolutely. All but right. if it's something that's within your game that I'm able to do and you refuse to patch for weeks on end, you cannot then go back and ban me for it. I agree. It's just unethical. I agree. I agree. The, the issue we did I, that with Destiny a lot. I miss the tower. Just screwing around the tower and finding all of the glitches Favorite in the tower. Favorite moments ever yeah. is on the tower. Uh, I think we three should get on Destiny. Yeah. Yeah, um, Break says yeah. need more vehicles. The wall climbing is hilarious and don't last long. Yeah. Um, check out Rec Club. Oh, we didn't read those in the earlier comments, but um, anyways. Um, so yeah, there's uh, I actually the problem I have now. I've been burned this year by a bad game, and now I'm facing the consequences on it, which is Back for Blood. Um, we we bought it, and we shouldn't have. It was on Game Pass, but. We bought the game and the purchase burned me basically sixty, seventy dollars. And it was like a why did we do that? Because we could have used that on something better, bought a different game, maybe even Call of Duty. But no. Um I rely on reviews now, actually. I have to unless it's on something that I can like Game Pass or something that's on Games for Gold or something like that, where I can actually get a demo of it or something and see if I like it. But I now have to rely on um I have to rely on uh reviews which is unfortunate because that's what this is giving people 30,000 negative reviews out of 42,000. So, and again, I think huge. that's a lot of people that expected a, you know, a Battlefield launch to be core game with some extras. This is there was is what is a, what is there? What's what's available right now? Yeah. Uh so you have your primary Battlefield 2042 campaign. Um no no campaign. Oh. 
because it's always it's for the past couple of years it's focused more on multiplayer than campaign efforts. Really? Are people moving away? Well, I mean, I guess I never played. I never. Played I, I see a ups. lot of franchises <laughs> moving away from the campaign style, or moving like Halo, where it's a separate purchasable option. Mm-hmm. And keeping the multiplayer I am, free. We have to talk about Halo now because that's going to be in the next conversation here. By the but way, that's I, and that's where I can't rely on reviews because your review of Back for Blood, I love it. I like. I know. I love the game, it. but it, we it it doesn't have the charm that Left 4 Dead had. Like I would be happy to buy a Left 4 Dead three if it was ex- if it was. And to me, Left 4 Dead's boring. What? Yeah, hate it. No way. One man. playthrough and I'm done. Nah. <laughs> Alex and I have we have fun with Left 4 Dead. It's arcadey, man. But that's man. the point of just our gaming community. It's I know thing. we we find a way to make things fun by yeah. other things. Like I'd love to go back to see see a thieves. I just think it's I think Back 4 Blood is an upgraded version of Left 4 Dead. There's too much with the cards though that make the challenge I think it too does difficult. Make it a little We're playing bit... it on normal. We can't even finish the campaign. Okay, but then you have left for dead which is you play it on normal you you will finish you will yeah you'll finish but like there's not enough of a challenge you don't you don't carry things over that's the problem with left for dead is you didn't carry things into each campaign basically you didn't carry it yeah a you skill started set. from scratch you started from scratch every time back for blood's a little different bringing cards it upgrades your abilities a little bit but they're, they're for... also trying to be with the times now like i get it i get no no that's fine a little bit more the grind is too big for me and we haven't gone back to it because it only because, you only well, have no, why four is because people. Halo's out. <laughs> right, right, right. I mean, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing that back. For, it, I'm, I'm just disappointed that I bought it when it's on Game Pass. Yeah, yeah and that, and that's one avenue to look at it. But I'm just saying, it, overall, I'm not upset at all with the. But you didn't buy it, did you? Yes, you did. Okay, you were on PC though. Mm-hmm. That's fine. But we're on Xbox, so we didn't have to do that. So it's kind of. Oh well. Kind of. Upsetting. But I think you had to have the paid to get the beta access that we played. That's yes, why. That's why. And we're like, oh, we gotta try it out immediately, and yeah. then we're like, oh, well, this game is just a little too. And much. I've been posting the patch notes, and they're definitely addressing concerns. Right, right. So um, we got a couple of the uh, comments in here. Battlefield campaigns are great, but this 124 player multiplayer is amazing. Um, we got. Fred any, agrees uh, with you on something. Yeah, I don't know what. <laughs> Back for Blood is amazing too, as well. I know yes. everyone likes to go against me on comments. <laughs> yes. Well, I, I said something in Discord uh, yesterday, and one of our Discord followers is like, you know, I'm actually not upset with that. I'm, I'll agree with you. I'm like, why would you be upset with my comment? <laughs> Maybe, I mean, there's certain people, people that we just, just don't like clash like up against other my, people. My comments. Oh, well, that's what I oh, always told you. Brett though, I agrees like, with uh, uh, you with, ba- or with uh, Left 4 Dead being boring. Oh, yeah. Well, it's because, I mean, Brett doesn't have, he doesn't like co op. Yeah, he does. No, he doesn't. He just said to us like two episodes ago, he doesn't like co-op. He doesn't like no, he co- doesn't like multiplayer. He doesn't like co-op either. He's not interested in Back for Blood. He's not interested in Left 4 Dead. I he, mean, okay. He yeah, does, that's right. why he doesn't play Gears with us anymore. And it's like, well, fine, fuck you. We'll play our multiplayer games with the squad who wants to. That's See, I told you. He says he does like co-op. No, he doesn't. Well, he just said it. So <laughs> he does. <clears throat> yes, I don't like multiplayer. See, I told you. And that's uh, where, yeah. he, where I think between us banter on stream and then the banter here on the podcast is no one wants an echo chamber. No one wants to listen to an echo chamber where no. someone says something and yes, 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 I agree. Yes, yes. yes right. Yes. Yeah. No, right. No one wants that. No. Right. But there are people See, who, but that's why, that's why whenever burn we for play, reason, so you know? I know that like, all right, so you, you hate, uh, what, what, what's your game that you play? Uh, Tarkov. 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 You hate Tarkov, but you play it all the time. You stick my dick in a blender. <laughs> you, <laughs> you hate, <laughs> You hate Black Ops, but you play it. Oh, I hated it every, every second of it. But damn, it, if I wasn't at the top of the leaderboard, exactly. And, See, because but that's, that's just like that's, that's more the competitive nature coming out. Exactly. Like, if I'm going to play this, I'm going to be good at it. Do exactly. You, do, See, when you play Halo, do you play SWAT? Because we're going to be, we're going to be. I only ever that. played SWAT when I played with you guys originally when we did like the MCC. Early I want to go back to the Master Chief Collection yeah. for a little well, bit. Well, SWAT too. is a lot like. Um, Hardcore. It's, really it's, it's hardcore Halo is what the, it the is. The hardest part is we have grown the squad to a point that it's hard to play these smaller modes now. I know. To be fair to everybody. I right. know it is. But if yeah. we have to split up, what I want to do is get four of us and just ranked. run the ranked yeah. playlist yeah. to see where we rank. If they have ranked SWAT, I'll definitely go for that. Man, I'm not fine with doing anything ranked. Oh, they have ranked already. They yeah. have ranked now. We oh, just I didn't don't even know play. You, you can play your placements right now. Yeah. And I just want to see where we land. Oh. I don't know, fine with that. It's four v four, so 
you have to be that, then that's, that's why fine. I said that's the hard well, that's part. The thing. Like, well, the squad we can, to the we can we figure yeah. that stuff we just out because, you know, another, we just you know Patrick's another. got his stream. You've got your stream. I've got my stream. Josh got his stream. So, I mean, there we can tag team. Different Most people and, coincide different. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. We we'll figure it out. We figure it out. Um, but yeah, no, like we just added another. So now we're, we're sitting at like at least seven to eight people playing Halo with us, you know, I know, that's which is crazy. weird. We usually didn't like we always had like a group of. Four. Four. We <laughs> four. started with four. We started with four, and now yeah. we have eight. Eight. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. But yeah. Um, but let's talk about Halo. Let's talk actually, about Halo. Halo's amazing. I mean, <laughs> it is. But I want more. Out. I want more. December eighth. <laughs> when we were when we were recording last week, it was like, oh, it might be happening, but it might not be. I said it. I didn't. Yeah. Like, we there was. Oh, no, it what's was, happening? Yeah, it's out. Yeah. It was. It was definitely leaked for sure. Yeah. It. Uh. It's very exciting that they gave this out for the 20th anniversary of Xbox and But we it's like the beta 2.0 or 4.0 or They don't <laughs> have the playlist that I want. They don't have a campaign because that doesn't come out until December and I'm playing that. I am playing oh, yeah. that day one. I'm I'm going right to the campaign. I'm very excited to see where this franchise goes. Mm-hmm. Um no co-op campaign until May, so at that point It'll be fine. why bother? It'll be fine. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> That's upsetting. I might not play the campaign then until May. I might, might, might just co-op with you. I'm going to be playing it before that, though. I'm going to be finishing You just don't it. ruin anything. No. I'm very excited to play it. Um, they don't have uh, Forge either, which was fun. But, you know, maybe we could look at some PTO things with Forge. Ooh, that would be cool. Yeah. Make our own like map. some horse. Like try to get through like hoops and stuff or something or try to get to a goal. Oh, okay. All right. I wasn't sure what you were talking we about. We could think of some things like that. Yeah. be very interesting. Um, but what's your experience with this, Quentin? What do you, how do you like in Halo? It, it's all right. It's all right. It, it has a bit of nostalgia for me, but you got to remember my primary Halo experience is back in like one, two, and three. And then I didn't play. Mm-hmm. I think I played a bit of reach, maybe like an hour or two of ODST. You know, none of four. None of four. Four, four is what this re- is four mimicking. Was so basically. Good. Four. Yeah. This is just basically. So four. it has that nostalgia right. back for me that. Uh, for the time to kill is basically the nostalgia. Part yeah, of um, just the overall feel of jumping. Uh, Being there, there's a couple new a ring, like, man. Ab- abilities, <laughs> um, but as far as like, would I hardcore run my face into this game, try to get as competitive as possible? Not really, because it's missing core components of what I enjoy in games right now, which which is, is the the unlocks, like mm-hmm. for Call of Duty, yeah. unlocking yeah. the attachments, getting good with a weapon, building mm-hmm. a weapon around my play style. Mm-hmm versus mm-hmm. it, it's it's what you pick up man. hence why we went back to warzone on saturday i was like you know i want to go back to a, a play style that i enjoy immensely that i'm i wasn't really going to be upset if we lost and i knew it wasn't going to come to anything and turns out we just you know we, didn't, we got a few tops but it wasn't it wasn't a big deal for me i love playing warzone but i'm not going to play vanguard we had the free multiplayer availability over the weekend we didn't even try it we're busy no, we just yeah. didn't even try it, just in general. I've enjoyed Vanguard. But yeah. again, this is more up my alley mm-hmm. of super sweat. It's yeah. constant go, go, go. Because I play, uh, it's their game mode, um, ca- Champion Hill. Yeah. It's a 1v1, 2v2, or 3v3. Oh, wow. Uh, first, uh, you get so many lives, mm-hmm. so only so many respawns. That's great. And I love that. It's a round robin. Style Mm -hmm. and you get a purchased and it's all level playing field. So Mm -hmm. you start with the same weapons and it's up to you how you upgrade them, what things you prioritize. Like, do you go by ghost Mm -hmm. or do you buy a couple attachments for your gun? Right. Um, but the map is so it's smaller than Nuketown. Hmm. It's so small that it's just this high, high intense. It's just high intensity. I say that sounds that sounds fun actually. Yeah. (laughs) Sounds and like that's my where, way of playing. if it but wasn't for World the fact that it was down to we were, like it's only modern. a max of a three v three. I would have recommended it, but I know, especially our weekend squad is so massive mm-hmm. that yeah, it, it would have been a. There's going to be a lot of people that can't play. Sometimes during the week, I can't get people to go. <laughs> I'm like, come on, guys, I'm tired. Well, you don't go to bed. Um, but yeah, I'm having a good time with Halo. Um, the only thing I'm I'm struggling with going from playing Call of Duty for so long especially hardcore is the hardcore mode. The ability well, it's just, to, it's, it's just the, going the from hardcore time to mode. Kill. It's just like, yeah, it's takes forever it takes, to kill takes, a player. It takes forever to a kill clip a player. And a half. Yeah. Okay. Well, a clip plus like if you're headshotting uh, a clip, a pistol. Yeah. 
and maybe a couple more. You have to yeah. reload at that point. You have to hopefully reload. they're not hitting their shot. Yeah, weapon if, swap if you, and then burst AR and hopefully right. them. Yes. Yeah. Um, Stupid. But there's that, but there's also just the respawn time. Like I'm used, like Call of Duty, it's like go, 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 go. And here's this like five second respawn is like the longest five seconds of my life. I'm like, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> I agree. And then I can't, you know, I can't get my 30 and 40 kills. I can get my... 20 maybe Ten. well yeah i guess like if, if i try now, i'm usually capping out at like just under 30 is where i'm at right now playing i haven't been either big so team well. or the 40 before i'm usually capped right i there. that's why i want to play swat because i want to play it's a like, swat is a lot I better because like. it's like pop 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 like it's it's and so much my easier. only concern yes, i love it is that i won't be able to play with you guys why why because pc has a very distinct advantage over console might, in reaction time we had that but we, had we that do issue. have auto aim there's auto aim. There, there's magnetic aim. We do. We have it. We do. Mm-hmm. You just you're used to it. You just don't notice it. You go to keyboard and mouse. You don't. You will notice. I'll it. notice it. Oh yeah. I you get no assistance. None. None. Like there is no auto. I don't think I need it. There, but there, it's already there. It's I there. I know, but I don't think I need it. I can't tell you whether or not that's a good or bad thing. In Warzone, that's an advantage. So that's a good thing. For some people. Yeah, but I like go, go, go. That's why I don't play Warzone. Go. Warzone is just collecting, Warzone? collecting, collecting okay, just so, so you can end up dying. I have been wanting to get a full quad, like two quads or two trios together to see if we can drop in the same and try to be the last two teams just to see if we could do it. But you hate Warzone so much. I just, I it's I, I don't say I hate it. There's nothing, I, I liked um the one of the other game. Blackout. Blackout. Yeah. I liked Blackout, and I don't even know why I liked Blackout. It was... Well, that was more PUBG style where it's only what you find on the field versus Warzone. There's different loadouts in different places. Yeah, like, see, you'll see me like pick different loadouts based off of where the zones go. I'm thinking, you know, four zone movements ahead. Yeah, you guys, like, I was like, there's... And how I'm structuring my loadout, who I'm yeah. giving cash to, who's going to carry exactly. what in their pocket. When we swapped that sniper that. and uh, OTS9, that was a great idea. We won that Warzone match. That was our 10th That's victory. what I, that's, that's just kind of how I compare, like, when you go to, like, when we would play the different, try out the different zombies through all of the different Call of Duties, and our favorites was, like, you know, Black Ops 2. Yeah. Black Ops 2 was a great zombies. And Absolutely. then you go to Black Ops 3. Yeah. Eh, what the hell did they do to that game? Black Ops 4. They got Black like, Ops 4. Uh, it was not even good. We, it wasn't we, we, really that good. Cold War? Cold War. Okay. Wow, I love that style. Like, it's just like, it's just everything varies and it has to, like, play just right for and me. And you didn't really like, care really for like Black it. Ops 1s because it was too difficult. It was okay. Yeah. It wasn't like, oh my God, let's play it. Black Ops 2 was like, they nailed it. Perfect. Black Ops 2 was near perfect Call of Duty yes. for me and Alex. Yes, and I loved it. What's your, what's your favorite Call of Duty? Blops too. Yep. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Uh, as far as Halo's going, I'm loving this game. If they bring me SWAT on December eighth, I'll be, I'll be on it. I just want more. Like I want more unlocks. Like Quincy. Like I want more unlocks. I want more customization. I want the the right now. I feel like the um the store is bland. It's, the, it's, the menu is too menu-y. Oh yeah. my god, I can't get I can't do the menu, man. Oh, Sometimes. I want to edit my armor. Hold on, I got to back up four times, go exactly. over one menu, think, go down. Hold on, I'm not in the right armor set. I didn't unlock that for that. Right? Okay, I I'm, back yeah. out. So, I like how Brig pointed this out that in 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 Call of Duty, we're complaining about getting rid the of green our green dot. dot that is above I want like a green when we unlock dot. something, it shows us by a little green dot that's my kills our ocd because you can't get rid of it and now we don't have a green dot to tell us what we did unlock to be able to go to it to oh you want to check it. that out okay well you're not in the right menu you have to go back a couple menus okay go to your battle pass now you have to back up a couple steps because the battle pass way too effing wide for how slow it is to unlock anything okay there so. you go that's my beef with call or with uh with halo right now it's it's they're, they're making it too complicated <laughs> so hopefully that's something that they because this is still they keep saying it's still like beta ish form they're and, like, listening the, to the fans yes They'll and bring... I th- they need to fix that well, I mean, the, they need I mean, to the make it so much more the easier the battle pass progress right it would take me eight games to get one level progression mm-hmm. in the battle pass and right. it's like yeah. you want me to go through 100 it's going to take me six months yep. yeah yeah, because I only really get, truly unlock things like we need to get things like double XP on the weekends. And, that's yeah, like, that's my go time to play. What would we say? We, the, the one dude had fire on Sunday. Yeah, and I said he's either really good and in, invested all his time in this, money. or invested all his money in. I don't it. think yeah. anybody with even the, as much time as the game's been out has been would be able to. They buy it. 
You bet you, you buy ha- He yeah. had to have bought it. There is no way. Because yeah, that's I like level that, 99. We, we watched him play, and I was he like, He was yeah, terrible. And he was terrible. He was, he was the cat. He was, his capture the flag, right? I, it was one thing. And remember. he wouldn't even, he wasn't even. I know, the he was objective. horrible. By the way, I went through highlights. Oh my God. There's just some amazing stuff I, that's going to be on your YouTube this week of our. I weekend. know. We were actually, we were having so much fun. It was a good time. Yeah. It was a good time. Um, but moving on, um, we, I think we've, uh, pounded halo into the dirt a little bit talking about it um a couple of things that we can talk about uh rockstar they are uh returning uh (laughs) the original gta trilogy to the stores and those who purchase the definitive edition get free copies (laughs) because they uh they know because they know they know they know It felt like they know. from the screens I got, it almost felt like someone just went into the texture files, updated them, uh-huh. pasted them back to the original file locations, but did no <laughs> form of scaling for the resolution and change. Josh was like saying basically. So graphic thing. designers out there will get that reference. I am so. <laughs> Josh was just pausing. Like he, I was napping when he was playing it. He was waking me up and he's like, Look I have at to point. I have to, I have to point. <laughs> he's like, what is I this? have to point. Uh, um. What are you looking for? This this uh, donut place, this donut shop in GTA, is supposed to look like like a nut thing, and they it got rounded out. Tough nut. That's what it is. Tough nut. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna show this on our um, on our YouTube here. Um, sorry, wrong screen. So right here, this donut, tough nut donuts, is supposed to look. Like an actual tire, like nut. It's supposed to look like that. Okay. But the the upgrade of the resolution changed it, and people were so upset. It's a smooth donut. Yeah, a smooth donut. Look so at that. So instead of looking like a bolt and nut, like, a, like that. It's like smooth. they yeah. used they used I g- they used it- the uh, the inability to do round shapes <laughs> for uh, for this, and they they went into and smoothed everything out, and that's not you know how- I absolutely love. The fact that I like just bash Brett on this twenty four seven just for this to look like this. <laughs> <laughs> like just just make a new GTA. And Brett's all like, oh my god, where they're gonna make wait, 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 hold on. What's he saying? Brett said, Are you sure it's not supposed to look like a real donut? It's not. It's not. It's supposed to be a nut, Brett. Do you know what we're trying to say? A nut? <laughs> nut. Like nut. a nut and bolt? Nut. 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 <laughs> I'm not seeing any uh, anything I can really show off here, but uh, yeah, it looks horrible. It's bad. It's really bad. Yeah, the name of the store is Tough Nut, and it's a you know, it's not a a because the other objects on the store are nuts <laughs> that are silver, but they decided to take the middle one that was kind of bronze and like ah, oh, that's a donut. That's a donut. You know, so people who do they are have just... working on this shit? <laughs> Obviously, hey Josh, not you the want a job team. at GT or at a uh, Rockstar? <laughs> no, but I did apply to uh, try to watch 25 Christmas movies in 25 days, and I'll find out in December if I got the position. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, Brett says, yes, thing. I know what a nut is, Alex. Um, anyways, moving on, moving on. In which form of the word? <laughs> Country of origin. <laughs> Latino? Of origin. Um, there's a few um, trailers that came out this week. Um Fraggle Rock is being rebooted. I don't know if you're a Fraggle Rock fan, Quentin. I know but that, that you was are. a uh, um, puppet I um, never show that Fraggle I watched Rock. as a kid, and it's uh, it's being rebooted. It comes out on Apple TV very soon. So I'm not interested at all. It's my, definitely not for me because Alex and I we tried the new Rugrats show. We tried it. We we turned it off. Not for us. So there's a lot of things. Do we that, even watch the whole first episode? We didn't no, we shut it. it off. Shut it off. Yeah, we shut it off. It was horrible. Yep. Bad. So yeah. I'll catch I'll catch myself because I have YouTube TV and that's how I watch a lot of my shows and sports mm-hmm. where YouTube will just kind of auto cycle to what was next because I'll usually go back and watch recordings because I can't watch it live. Right. Uh, so it'll just be like, okay, this is what was next in the lineup and I'm just going to start playing that. And sometimes it'll be some modern cartoon. Um, I, I feel brain dead. I know yeah. how my parents felt yeah. whenever I would show them like, nah, it's not nah, dad. It's Pokemon. So, so Rugrats, what was big about the franchise was it was from a child's perspective and everything had just like the weirdest angles and you were, you were kind of frightened by the imagery and the, um, 
the CGI version, you're seeing them from a different angle that you are not supposed to see the Rugrats mm-hmm. in. I'm sorry. No. That is not how the show was built. It was built to look weird because from a kid's perspective, when like you when, look up at yes, something, say like, like it is just not when, when Tommy's When Tommy's mom go, is going down to pick him up, you're seeing it from Tommy's perspective. It's supposed to look weird and deformed. Angled and weird. Like angled and You're supposed and, to see weird walls and everything. Yeah, like everything is from... A their, baby's perspective. Their, yeah, their, perspective. their vision isn't this. What they did with this is and and the voice acting. They swapped it's, out some voices, bad. and it's, it's, not, it's good. not good. It's, it's not, not good. They good. shouldn't have touched it, and they touched it, and they did. It's bad. I feel like it's not meant for us, though. No. I know, but we can there complain are, about it because we tried. It. No, there's we tried. There's this. I, I couldn't even put a percentage on it, but most of the time when I hear reboot or we're refreshing the franchise, it is like no, don't. Halloween's been okay. Because that's like Pandora's box. Open it and it can't be undone. Some have been okay. I've been hearing that Halloween's been doing okay. Um, Ghostbusters, I heard, okay. (laughs) I'm not saying amazing things. So we're all probably thinking the same thing about Resident Evil. That got an okay rating around around the internet, too. That came out today as well. It came out today? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was this weekend. Uh, uh, What is that? Um, Cinema Sins already has a... Uh, oh, they already out. have one. Yeah, already has one out. I figure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know that that's up my brother's alley right there. So I was yeah, just like, well, I have to ask you later. know, it's a video game movie that might fail, might be. I think yeah. you're gonna see more failure out of video game movie adaptations. That's what I'm scared for. for Halo. Halo. We were watching Halo trailers last night. We were watching the Halo night, actually. trailers, like, like the, ODST. The ODST trailers did and you know, the Reach did you, trailers. Did you know the ODST? You ever you ever watch any of this stuff? All the live action trailers that were on, dude. That the is best some stuff video game trailers I've ever like, seen have been um, from Halo. It was due to Peter Jackson trying to fund a Halo movie, and they did all these scenes, and they put these scenes as this is why you saw all these cinematic scenes for Halo Three, Halo ODST, Halo um, Reach. There was a lot of marketing that they did a lot of realism because Peter Jackson wanted to push it. And for ODST, there's all these trailers that came out that looked real and had a lot of like budget. Well, and then to we them. got forward unto Dawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Added. that came out too. Yeah. And that well, was I think the hardest well. part when it comes to like lore. video game to movie adaptations is the lore. There's yeah. so little respect for lore in right. video game movies. Yeah. That that's where it kills it for me. But Halo has a lot. Halo has a lot. Halo's like the Star Wars of I'd say a video gaming. Like, like, it has it, it, a lot. To I don't it. know how. It's that's what makes me huge. scared about them bringing anything out Halo wise live action because we're either going to impress the people that just know the 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 top of Halo, like just just the the meniscus, just the part, the, just the top of Halo, and then you're going to. I don't think there's a, a middle that they can can come to because if you if if they make anything Halo, everything is so deep with halo with the story that if you stay too far up here you're gonna piss these people off but if you meet in the middle i think even if you meet in the middle you're gonna like lose the attention of the people that don't know anything about halo yeah see if i'm hardcore invested Tough. into a uh video game uh i only care about maybe 10 20 percent graphic wise mm-hmm. what this movie looks like it's how accurate are you getting my storyline I'm fifty fifty on that. I you need uh, to also be able to impress me with. Is what there a video game movie that you like? Did you see the Detective Pikachu? No, didn't see it. Are that po- actually are you a Pokemon fan at all? It's good in the slightest. It's it, that I mean, was it actually puts you in the world good. and it kind of feels pretty good. It, there's yeah. little things here and there that are cheesy about it, but I'd say it's probably one of the best. I'd say it's probably one of the video best game ones. adaptations yeah. I'd in a long time. I'm scared for Mario. But with how far <laughs> video games have come along with their cinematics. You're practically getting the movie within the game, and then you right. know, if you try mm-hmm. to release a movie right along, you're either going to give me all the cinematics stitched together where I'm missing the battle bits that I did in the yes. video game. Like yes. Tomb Raider. Like Tomb Raider. The new That's Tomb exactly Raider is exactly like the Tomb first Raider video was. game. You were saying this. Yes, and we shut that off. We shut that off. off. Well, I, was shut like, off I was like, no. Shoot. That, that, was de- that was a video game movie, like scene for scene, where I was like, we gotta put that I already know what happens, and I really just, I did not care for it whatsoever. I thought it was horrible. We should finish that one. No. If you're a real Destiny fan, you'll like a YouTuber. His name is, my name is Bife. Mm-hmm. he does destiny lore like Ooh. down to like the like he will uh go like and uh dig the website for pieces of lore that weren't released mm-hmm. and he'll stitch it all together and his voice is oh so soothing oh <laughs> that's nice too um 
You have to have a good but voice. But you're never going to get a movie adaptation that's his deep in the lore. Because mm-hmm. if it's too deep in the lore, then you're not going to get enough screen time with you know actors or anything like that. Right. And if you go too far the other way, and it's like, well, you missed an entire you know vault of the glass. Like you know, that's an important ray. That's an important you know point plot, and you're missing it. And you know, true video game fans would be pissed. I I don't think there's no appeasement. There's no middle ground. There's no appeasement. So just stay away from it. That's why the Snyder Cut did so well. Because it had everything mm-hmm. from top to bottom. I like watching the side-by-side cuts. And it's just like how fast the scene goes by. Yes. And his scene is still going. It's just still going. Yes. But I will I also say think, that like, if they do anything with Halo. one of the best, best. If they do anything movies. with Halo, they have to do what they did with um, with uh, the Star Wars movie that I like. Uh Rogue One. Rogue One. They have to have nobodies. Oh. They can't. They can't cast known actors for Halo. I don't think they can do that because I just I I feel like in my head I typecast certain people. Uh, there's like, one. I don't that feel I, like I'm like oh, maybe maybe gosh, like side name? characters maybe, but like uh, main the, characters. I don't the voice think of, the voice of you know who I'm ta- who I'm gonna say right the guy who plays Sar the the, the sergeant right. What about Give him? me Samuel L. Jackson. No, that's not his name. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I mean, I'd in actually, a movie adaptation, I'd be okay with that. give that's me Samuel L. Jackson. I actually what would be fine name? with that because when I, when I see the sergeant, like that's what I think of when if, I play Halo is Samuel L. Jackson would be great with this character. But anybody else, like, I don't know. I don't. I want a nobody for Cortana. I don't want this, like, star-studded actress. I, I want a nobody. I have to look up. Somebody that's good, but I want a nobody for Cortana because I want to develop this new relationship with this actress to being my Cortana. There, the Tim actor's name. Chief. I'm looking up the actor's name. It's really killing me that Keith David has to be in this. You don't know who Keith David is? Don't look at me like that. Okay. Uh, well, I'll just, I'll just pull up a photo on our um, actual phone here and just show you this, this gentleman. Okay. Yes, he looks exactly like him. like a one for one. But the voice I want yelling voice, at me in the theater is Samuel Jackson. Yes, Samuel what? L. Jackson. I agree. Yes, like that's what I mean by like more like. I mean, he's like a main character, but more like main side kind of character. That's fine for, but I don't want it like overloaded and all these like big known actors. I need to have a fresh plate if we're gonna do Halo. Yeah, <laughs> he's the arbiter in the video game though in Halo Two. So. I did so I did notice his voice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so he was in Halo. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It oh, was okay. it wasn't the sergeant. It was uh, it, it was, was the, the arbiter. arbiter. It was the arbiter. Sergeant yes. Johnson. Sergeant, yeah. sergeant Johnson. Jo- who was, no, it wasn't Sergeant Johnson. Um, but Sergeant Johnson um is a is a pivotal uh character. Um, anyways, moving on. Um, what do we have time for here? We're actually we're actually hitting pretty close to. Do we want to just do a couple bits of our game? Our game. What? A million dollars, but yeah. Um, we can. I um, wanted to do it with Quentin. Go ahead. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I had I had five picked out, but I think I'm gonna look through them and uh, get. Just pick out a couple good ones here. because I wanted to play. It's been a while. We we always have a million dollars, but uh, available for when Quentin's on because it's <laughs> <laughs> just I'm not gonna get over like how we were like crying what about the <sighs> the butthole one. <laughs> Yeah, some uh, you know what I might as well just go through all these because these are these are great. You just, so yeah, let's just go through all of them. There's five of them. Yeah, there's so I, I I pre I pre picked these. So this is a game that you can actually get off of Rooster Teeth, um, their store. Uh, it's something that we integrated into our podcast as well. Um, just some things that you think that you would do for a million dollars, Quentin. I know you'd probably do anything for a million dollars at this oh, point. True. And uh, you be want, the sadomasochist like I say, that you are. Before be we always tr- play. Try to make this as real life as possible. Just be like, oh, okay, I have a million dollars, but uh, if this happens, then I'm going to work my way around it by doing this. No, make it like a real life scenario because that's how you should play. That's kind of how you argue it out. Yeah. yeah. My farts didn't make sound. <laughs> ha. 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 <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so the first one is million dollars, but when you walk up a staircase, you have the same level of control over your body as a toddler. <laughs> I mean, you have toddlers. How are they doing on stairs? <laughs> they're pretty coordinated. Are they? I mean, you, there's just more hand and feet involvement. So think about, you know, you're now a millionaire. Have you dealt with them falling down? You're now a millionaire and you're in like no, a really expensive big. tuxedo and you're at a gala, but now you have to walk up a staircase in and your tuxedo. Like, 
at a gala in front of the press. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you get me. If I'm at a gala, I'm probably pretty fucking loaded already. <laughs> 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 so they're just gonna blame it on the beer. <laughs> you know what, Alex? Here's the thing: you want to live in a one-story house when we do our own. Yeah. You don't want any stairs. This I is mean, an easy yeah for me. Like I'm, I'm not gonna have any stairs. People have kind of gotten rid of get stairs. the presidential nomination. Have to walk up the stairs to <laughs> Air Force One. <laughs> well, I'm getting elevators, man. <laughs> I'm getting elevators. Well, here's the there thing. There you go. There stairs, you go. I'm not gonna have stairs. I'm gonna have elevators. Stairs have been replaced. or an escalator. Escalators take. Pl- I'm saying stairs have been replaced. Stairs are not a thing. They're not in- good for you. What? They're not good for you. Yeah, they hurt the knees. <laughs> they keep you in shape. So do blowjobs, but I still am not. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> All right, next one. Million dollars butt. Every time you hiccup, your body is immediately covered in a full body cast. I mean, I need a full body cast every time I hiccup. But you hate your legs covered and not being able to move. Yeah, you're just like making my heart full body? pound. Full body cast. There's only been on one hiccup? time. One I've been, well, I know, I've every time you hiccup. Yeah, no, that's not. I, yeah, that's a It's no. going to cost me a million dollars in medical bills just to get I, it all cut just, off. Just, no, it's going to cost me a million dollars in therapy to get it, <laughs> like, to have it put on You'll me and crazy, take off. Yeah. I'll go crazy. Because I can't think being, like, you know, you just randomly at the store hiccup, you just fall over. <laughs> <laughs> so, ambulance ride, you're at 14000 <laughs> Problem is, uh, well, actually, no problem. I don't hiccup. I don't get the hiccups. Yeah, Josh doesn't get so. the hiccups. If he does, it's like. Uh, I'm a millionaire. Yeah, Josh is a millionaire nope, on that one. Not me. No, nope. mm, can't, can't do it. I can tell you the last time I had literally a series. I might get one if I down that Coke, but that's about it. It's, yeah, it's now, break it. It's basically burp. room temperature now, so yeah, that's weird. not the best. Isn't Brig Brig can't Brig can't burp? Yeah, he's got, and he crazy. gets the hiccups like a mother ever. All right, million dollars, but whenever you see fireworks, you get pink eye. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, man. Fourth of July must Fourth be Fourth of a... July. Like, you're going to have these blackout curtains. <laughs> How often do you see fireworks in your life? Um. Uh, well, okay. We have to think here outside the box. Are we also thinking like... Okay, Every time so, you see fireworks. So we went, to, we went to the Vikings game, and there was like these tiny little poofs. Was, was that... Indoor fireworks? Yeah. Yeah, we'd have gotten pink eye. Yeah, we would have gotten pink eye. Right. What about in like movie and film? Yeah, what if it's on oh, TV? You yeah, I know, fireworks. but I know, but we're we're, we're making we're, we're we're deciding this right now. The, the, what if this it's, heavily what if it's, influences my decision? Yeah, I know because <laughs> I was I like, think, I can I, I can just you know TV because it's any it doesn't re- you know in person it just says anytime you see them whenever you it see could be fireworks. like this magical Disney movie I you're taking never your watch daughters a Fred to. Fred Grody commercial ever again. Know, you could right? never watch a Disney intro. You can never watch a Disney intro with your with your girls because you would watch you would be you would be you would you would bring them to the theater and be like oh good we're in a Disney movie I just agreed to this million dollars like it'll be fine and all of a sudden like first thing that happens everybody's boom, really quiet boom boom, boom, boom boom and you just hear fuck <laughs> 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 gotta get the drop and then out. you just see him like <laughs> we're walking down man this movie cost me twenty bucks and I can't see shit <laughs> ah, God. I mean, pink eye, so. pink eye sucks. I'm, I don't think I've ever had pink eye, but I've seen people that hey, have it. Knock on our podcast and it's table, like, Alex. I mean, you haven't had it. Just, I don't think so. But I've seen a lot of. I've people had have styes, it. but I've never had full blown pink. I've eye. had a sty yeah. before. When I, but when I was never, a kid, I did. Yeah, I've never. I don't think I've ever had full blown pink eye before. But I've seen way too many people have it, and it looks very ouchy, <laughs> and it looks like it sucks. <laughs> So that's a that's a hard pass. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think, I don't think no. So. I like fireworks too much. Do you really like? Have you ever gone back and watched your fireworks videos? Yeah. Like from like three. Yeah, years Yeah, I'm ago? actually a crazy person that does. Do you go back to like five years ago and like, oh, this woman is awesome because yeah, I saw and you know it on what? There, was, there is one time that I regret not doing that, recording the fireworks. Really? Yeah. That's silly. You want to know why? I think recording you fireworks what it was? is stupid. What? When we watched the grand finale on top of Mount Rushmore. Yeah. That was still. Well, like, we were walking away at that point. We're like, we've seen enough fireworks. No, 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 no. We watched. Of July I mean, the grand finale lasted forever. Forever. We didn't know if it was the grand finale or if they just hit all the buttons at once. Or, yeah, it just looked like somebody went up there and just went. <laughs> the key, if it was a keyboard, just mash. It just looked like somebody <laughs> just went like this. <laughs> we had a. I forget what year it is. When I lived really close to where they do the fireworks in my small town. 
uh, there was an accident where the the fuse didn't split properly, oh, no. like mm-hmm. timed release, and it went to all of them. Mm. And fire department was a Russian. Oh, I am man. sure. I am that sure. Was fire department was on duty. Yep. Yep. All right. So next one, million dollars. But whenever you're running late which is very frequent for me and Alex for a lot of family functions. I'm sure they can attest to that. (laughs) You have to convince someone to switch underwear with you, then wear them. Ah, G-G-E-Z, thong. (laughs) Ew. What? You want to wear someone else's thong? A little ball splitter? (laughs) You want to wear someone else's thong? (laughs) (laughs) Your butt floss is already getting me, man. (laughs) You want to wear someone else's thong? Well, you better not be late. <laughs> or you're getting some briefs and I'm getting a thong. <laughs> that's going to have to just like swass sitting in it. Oh my God, that's messed up. Hey, do you know where that thong goes? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever worn Covers one? Covers my shaft and splits the balls. I know, but have you ever worn one? I'm not legally allowed to answer that um well, i mean there's different types of thong are you talking about a g-string man like you talking about just like the the floss man thong i mean there's different you i mean can, i need a little fabric to, to to caress the shaft you can you can wear you can wear a speedo and that's considered a thong right no no that's a speedo oh there is a thong then no i'm not gonna do that <laughs> motivation to not be late can you imagine showing up to a work function I can be punctual I mean, what if, af what if somebody like you have to convince had them. An you have to convince them. You have to. But be what like, if hey. you're what if you're convincing somebody, and that person willingly gives up their underwear to trade for yours because they just had an accident? That's their. That's no longer their problem. Now it's now it's your problem. I got a million dollars, and shitty underwear is going to be a problem. <laughs> not for my million dollars. I'm going to tell my secretary. Wearing someone else's shitty underwear is not your problem. I, I change shitty diapers as a. But a stranger's shitty underwear, you're going to convince somebody without knowing what their downstairs mix-up is like. I'm not convinced that someone with shitty underwear is still at the function for me to trade underwear with. Right. Someone's really trying to hide it. Or they say yes and they really hate you, so they said go into the bathroom real quick and they just shit their pants and hand them to you. I mean, impressive. (laughs) I they need went, at least that they went to the bathroom to shit themselves. They, they, shit. Sit, they sit there and they're like, "You're at the table right now," and you're like, "You get there and you're like, I'm sorry, I'm late," and they're like, "I've been getting these ready for you." <laughs> Quit, and I am already ready for this next one. I'm gonna say you're you're saying yes. Alex is saying no. I'm saying no. Um, I already know you're probably gonna say yes to this one because whatever. You're just gonna be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go. I, I, I don't I'm gonna get a porter potty and have people." It's a public restroom from now on, but million dollars. But whenever you use the bathroom away from home, your genitals pulsate. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> you got it. Handshake right here, man. <laughs> I'm a millionaire. I mean, <laughs> one night stands are about to get real interesting. We have to go <laughs> to the public restroom. Uh, yeah, hi, I'm, I'm going to the public restroom, man. <laughs> Your genitals pulsate. Sure, count me in, man. <laughs> they do. Um, I knew that that one was going to be a shoe in for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my million dollars? <laughs> There's that one TikTok that Alex and I watched last night that I know I sent to you, or you may have sent to me. Um, it was my wife is or my girlfriend's leaving me because she can't handle my kinks. I said, all right, well, make sure you slam the door on my cock. <laughs> <way out." laughs> he says, yeah, I sent Josh, that one to you. Josh says, can you just hear Quentin's voice? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And I was like, that was, I turned to Josh and I was like, that's exactly what I heard in my head. Yeah, the, the, he's, he's all upset. And, you know, girlfriend left me today because she just, she just can't handle my kinks. Handle my and kinks. I made sure I told her to make sure she slams the door on my cock on the way out. I was like, that is very much quiz. Oh, my face hurts. Oh, <laughs> uh, we always have a good time. When yes, I know. Here. Um, we need to get to plugs now. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. We got the million dollars button and everything. Um, unless there's something else you guys have to, to, to talk about. I mean, it's been a really... Uh, no. No. <sighs> been an yeah. interesting week. Um, yeah. All right. Plug your uh, Twitch, Alex. Yeah, guys. If you would like to watch me stream, play some video games, and uh, yell at the screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> about big holes. <laughs> Go on. 
<laughs> You'll know what I mean when I get this new YouTube video out here. It's, but yeah, it's on It's twitch.tv slash cute underscore kitty, K-U-T-E underscore K-I-T-T-I. <laughs> I'm watching it quit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I stream on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evenings. Make sure you check it out. Yeah. Playing probably Halo mostly. Oh, this weekend I'll probably, yeah, yeah definitely Halo. be Halo. Mm-hmm. Uh, for me, it's twitch.tv slash Mr. L. M-A-S-T-E-R-L. You can uh, find me on stream Wednesday and Thursday. Not this Thursday because Thanksgiving is going on. Um, probably spending mostly the entire day with family. Food. Uh, yeah, it's going to be like Food. <laughs> Food. I'm going to get <laughs> so fat. You know, okay, so Alex and I have two meals to go to, and mm-hmm. the second meal we go to, we spend the entire, like, evening there. Like, we eat, and then we rest, and then we get and up, we and then we again. eat again. <laughs> I can't wait to do it. I can't wait to do it. Um, But, yeah, uh, so I'll be on Wednesday night uh, probably playing either Halo or Warzone, and then as far as Saturday goes, Halo. Uh, actually, yeah, probably Halo or Warzone. But next week, I will probably be starting fall, guys, because the new season starts. And then when Halo comes out in December, I'll be playing Halo probably when SWAT is As long as it doesn't suck. Yeah, as long as it doesn't. Right. (laughs) Um, As far as our... uh, Oh, Quentin, you you actually plugged Yeah, Quentin's got a Twitch. But you're not streaming frequently. Uh, Not right now. I've had quite a bit of computer issues and work. I've been putting in like 80, 90 hours. You're almost to affiliate. Yeah, I'm getting there. Um, But yeah, if you want to call me, twitch.tv slash genhotcakes, G-E-N hotcakes, all one. Or you can follow me on Twitter there too. Um, I I stream a bit of everything. I really don't have a, a niche yet. Uh, a lot of FPS, but a lot of people don't find their niche for a minute. I haven't found mine. I mean, I started off by playing Sea of Thieves. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, like it's just kind of a. I never, you know, we we talked back and forth about you should have a plan going into a, a live stream. You know, you should have yep. the, your content figured out before you hit go live. Yeah. And for me, it's a it's whatever I'm feeling. I, you know, I bounce off other people and what they're doing. You know, I don't want to, you know, assemble a squad. And it's like, this is what we're doing. And it's like, well, I'm out after a couple of games. I'm not really feeling that way. Right. And it's like, well, mm-hmm. you know, I'm okay with, let's switch. I, I think I switched from, um, I was kind of doing my own thing on age of empires to, I switched to Vanguard, got super sweaty. And then I, we switched over to halo for a couple of games. Like I, I like being that fluid, but I know it's hard to grow as a creator whenever you're not sitting in a certain area and someone sees you multiple times in Mm -hmm. that area Mm -hmm. and you know, I'm not really doing it to make a career out of it. I kind of just enjoy it. You know, well, that's what I told Josh with the the podcast and that's what I told him about Twitch. And I was like, if it happens, it happens. If it catches on, it catches on, but I'm not going to live and die. By the way, streaming, (laughs) um, no, I'll save it for Brett when he's on because yeah, I'll wait, I'll wait until we have our actual other host on. Um, but no, I've uh, I've been I've been all like, oh, I'll play Rocket League or I'll play Halo or I'll play Warzone um, or Fall Guys. And nowadays, and uh, those are my main four actually. So if you ever see me streaming this, those those are probably what you're gonna see me on. Um, I haven't done like what I was starting off on, which was Mario Maker, and that's where I was like, I was. You're actually really growing your community. I was growing my community there. Nintendo. But uh, I haven't done anything recently because you know just the as far as Nintendo goes because. It's just sometimes mainly everything we get from them is just party games. So, yeah, like well, we played that with your nephew, by the way, on Saturday. Oh yeah, you yeah, didn't, we you did didn't, do that. Uh, yeah, I mention that. that. Yeah, yeah, we played Mario Party on my stream. He was uh, really excited to be on my stream. It was great. We had yeah, a fun time. We, did. we just uh, got set up right here and played on our our screen mm-hmm. right here, and uh, he he was fine on stream. He and then we played yeah, some he Mario, loved it. and yeah, it was good. It was good. But as far as our podcast goes, we'd like it if you guys hit that like button on our YouTube channel. And if you are not subscribed to our channel, uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that bell to be notified w- for when we're live, which is every Monday, normally at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I know I say that on a Tuesday even. Um, as far as our social media goes, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. PTO Unlimited is what you'll search. Otherwise, if you're on Instagram, PTO Unlimited underscore podcast. And uh, on there, you'll see normally m- memes and stuff that we put out. Um, we do have another voicemail we have to listen to because uh, it was my birthday uh, yesterday. So we got a happy birthday. You're 21, I right? Uh, yeah, I'm 21. We got a, Two uh, places. He got asked if he was 21. <laughs> Two places. At the at the massage place, He was. At, I said it's his birthday. And they said, oh, 21? Like, and I was like, eh. And I just pointed up. And I'm like, oh, it's just a number. And I'm like... Yeah, yeah, we were laughing that they said 21. And then we go to Red Robin. They're like, uh, looking where to seat us. And then 
you know, it's a younger kid. And he was like, are you guys both 21? <laughs> and I'm like, really? And he's like, do you have your IDs? Are you 21? And we're like, yeah, we're 21. See, my, <laughs> mine's, mine's the inverse. Mine, you know, people that don't know me or have worked with me in the past and they start working with me and they're mm-hmm. like, oh, we thought you're like late 30s, early 40s. And I'm like, ouch. Yeah. A, a ouch. <laughs> <laughs> I always knew you were younger than me. Yeah. But by how much? I'm 32. So what did you guess? If I were to get, because I don't know how old you are right now. I just know that you're younger than me. 27. No, he's 30. You're not 30. 29. Ah, I was like, he's not 30 yet. I was like, I know he's in his 20s. 30 in April. (laughs) Yeah. No, I say 27. I was just jumping ahead. (laughs) No, I say 27. No, but it's the gray hair. The gray in the swoop always gets people. It does. It does. Is that your natural color? Yeah. This is not colored at all. He's got nice salt and pepper. (laughs) Hey, this is your number one fan for the PTO podcast. This is Jeff. Just wanted to wish the uh, uh, wanted to wish Josh a happy birthday, and I'm gonna continue watch, uh, listening every week and keep up the good work, guys. Happy birthday, Josh! Bye. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. Josh, I like how, like, you know, we do the, it does, like, the voice to text. Yeah. I like how it really what messes we're up it? everything. Yeah, we're reading the it's text as it's happening. It's 2021, and it does not read Well, that the hard way. part is pausing, because it's, oh, yeah, it's an active listener, and yeah. it tries to fill the white the yeah. white space. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that makes sense. That was very nice. Very nice. Thank you very much for that. Um, on a final note, um, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Um, yeah. Make sure you guys are spending... The time with your family, if you can, uh, if you got the time off. Hopefully, everyone's getting it. Uh, I hear no. that a lot of people are actually uh, spending time with their families this Thanksgiving. And I know not, a lot of people working. last year didn't. They did not. No, no. we didn't. We didn't. We didn't have a we'll be with family, own. but we'll be working. You'll be working? Oh no! Really? I am very busy. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh dude. man! You need to take some. You need time. to take some time, man. Well, luckily, it's it's what I enjoy. Enjoy some I turkey. Enjoy the, I enjoy the chaos. Like I will take most of Thursday away from work, but yeah. right back to Friday, I am. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Alex is going back to work on Friday. You okay? Yeah. I don't like the way you just did that. <laughs> Friday's already going to be Sunday. Yay. <laughs> All right. We're going to get on out of here. Quentin, thank you very much for joining us. It's been Thanks a great podcast. Yeah, yeah. We had a great yeah. Most of it, I went from complaining that I did the one or two pretty spaced out and never so now we're like never do you want to be on? Do you're pretty frequent you well i mean you're 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 very flexible um we're, we're probably gonna have rick on here sometime soon yeah yeah we gotta get rick um, on we here. haven't had him on in a minute yeah. um yeah he hasn't even been in the new studio yet so not even the last studio no no, no. but uh yeah we'll get it out of here guys thank you very much uh for joining us on uh youtube and uh, we'll catch you guys next week bye guys bye